Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. This is, I think, the second time, right? This is the second time that we have ever live streamed from our yeah, studio. Uh, the other time was just kind of a Q&A. We're still, it totally looks different. I mean, this backdrop probably looks sort of similar, but we've changed the layout of the tables. There's a, there's a lot more different things that are happening in the studio every single day. It's a huge space and we're doing everything we can to fill it out as much as possible. Now, uh, we just got this, all these packages, all these sets. Literally this is everything them. from Hunted. I've got all the rest of the boxes are just out over the screen. The thumbnail yes. is not a lie. Lego did send all of these sets to us. So thank you, Lego, for sending all the sets. We're gonna have the reviews coming out for you. This is the first time we've gotten an entire wave just sent yeah, over to us. Crazy. So like, awesome. See that box that Mike is on? He's got the city docks. Yeah. City docks. So, needless to say, we've got our work cut out for us. We're gonna try to stream for as much as we can today, knock out as uh, many sets as we can. We're gonna stream it all. We're gonna get all of these built uh, as quickly as possible. It's gonna be really fun. I like this new setup where we've got a little bit more of more people. It's a build party. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna build some sets and we're gonna have a good time. So. Anything else? No? no. <laughs> did I did I intro I, this properly? Yeah, I think we can just. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be building the throne room, set number seven zero six five one. I'm gonna knock out some small ones first. Uh, oh yeah, Mike's daughter's here. You can <laughs> probably see her in the corner somewhere. Uh, you're building what? Destiny's wing. It's funny. Yeah. These were sent to us by Lego, so you can see. These are like the, the factory them. boxes that <laughs> don't list. have the part count, the, well, they have the age, but they don't have the names and the part count, everything else though. So, okay, I hope we're not getting Maybe any. Maybe just like do a quick round on what we have actually. You yeah, them sure, all? yeah. yeah. Let's just, you, you mentioned those guys, right? Yeah. So this one is, the name? Yes, <laughs> I have to write them down. This is, no names, this is Firstborn. Firstborn. Uh, yeah, so we've got Firstborn, it's a big red dragon. Buying them? This one I'm looking forward to. This is the one we're all looking forward to. Yeah, this is probably the one. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's diesel, diesel knot, diesel knot. So, like I said, this is from the Hunted Season 9. We're all just calling this the Mad Max what's wave. What's the big one? Dragons, Mad Max wave? What? Dragon Pit. This is, uh, what's, what number is this? 52. Stormbringer. Stormbringer! That's the one Stormbringer. you can connect to Boost. Yeah. Oh, is you that can, the one? Oh, you can. Yeah, we oh, are. What is that one? Okay, we actually yeah. will show the Boost stuff when we do the review. Um, so, bam. And the Dragon Pit, right? Yes, Dragon Pit. 1,624 bucks. Yeah, Dragon Se Pit in the back. Biggest, second biggest one. Is that everything? That's it. Well, yeah, that that's in, it. that oh, in well, the, uh, and the, the back. and yeah. the docks. So, also they gave us the flyers too, all in the back, the Ninjago. Oh, the flyers? So, anyways, guys, thank you, Lego. Uh, we're gonna have an and awesome build party for the next two days. Okay. And that is gonna be awesome. So, we're gonna knock out a couple of the small ones. Here, it doesn't matter. Um, and then we're gonna do some, I think we're gonna basically go small and then large, except yeah. Mike is gonna start with the biggest one. I that. Right? Reserve okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Boom, I'm gonna stack this and it's gonna fall later. All right. Um, Hello, do we have Chad, it all? So How do I know where the, um, if there's any donations? I don't know. Um, <laughs> None of that is the... up there. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> we, do, we didn't set that up yet. <laughs> this is like, well, oh. I could have sworn it was. Okay. Super yeah. chat. Okay, we got the oh, super chat. We have to like. We oh, to... we didn't open up Streamlabs yet. Yeah. Dude, I was, I was not streaming for the longest time. I know. It's the first time we've streamed in a while. We like normally a had like, like uh, a rough start. <laughs> we had like, well, I'm opening mine now. So we've got like, need a, we've need got it. the bits and stuff and oh, we've yeah, got okay. super chat. Super chat. Okay, I'm going to leave it up here Can for now. Can I try to make it smaller here? Uh, I have boards on my face right now. So the smallest boxes don't have uh, cutting tabs. Interesting. There, you don't have cutting tabs yeah, on no, that one. Thing. So that's... Okay. Newish, I don't know. I feel like they've. I think they've done it before, but it's before, it's not yeah. that. But usually for slightly smaller boxes. I think that should be good, right? Um, you donations, view, and you have super perfect. chat. Perfect. Yeah, we got a bit from Zach. Uh, thank you. We got some people following. Whoa, we got some a bunch of people coming in. All right, guys. Oh, That's Twitch. Cool. Willem NL has resubscribed from Prime for 12 months. Thank you, Willem. We do appreciate it. All right. So 
We're not gonna be doing basic set reviews today. It's mostly us hanging out. We're gonna build it all. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. At some point, I'm just going to stop talking to you guys, but for now. <laughs> it, it does sound better with the corner traps. I just opened up a random... Oh, I wasn't even looking at the numbers. I was like, whoa. Oh, wow, it's back number one. I was just going at it. That's how long it's been since I've built Lego. I feel like the last, all of this week has been like either editing or like emails and <laughs> like I was just I was I don't know like it's all emails this That's week cool so it's so awesome that we get to build yeah yeah okay. did you ever well. cut your fingers on Lego yes I've actually gotten blood on some of the Lego bricks once <laughs> you've probably handled them yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. I just noticed if like one of the monitors was here, yeah. we have like we have like two people watching. We have the monitor at the channel. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Next time. This fourth, is still a very monitor. rough. Because we have so much space now. It's fourth it's, monitor. <laughs> yeah, it's a very um. We're we're still no, learning no, how we want to do the live stream. I'm saying it like it will fit. We can do it. <laughs> hey oh, hello everybody. Hey everybody from Twitch. I'm currently building a solo story TIE Fighter. Awesome. That's a really good TIE Fighter. It is. Whoa, I was about to put the female face oh, on Lloyd's. Yeah. Okay. Now, for the building. Okay. This is, it's almost like this is the part where you get into, like, the eating during the meal and everybody stops talking and just, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the natural phenomenon. Have you... What? This little girl makes my daughter. Yeah, it's Mike's daughter. Uh, hey Jack, did you watch uh, M&R Productions Brickbuster on Brick Queen? She saw Lego. Uh, oh no, I didn't watch M&R's thing. No, but I did watch the Brick Show's uh, video. Brick Show did a, uh, a video on the Brick Shop, their other one of their other channels. Um, and I thought they did a really good, uh, I thought Jason had like a really good perspective on the whole thing, so. Um, you know, because their their main channel got deleted, but um, I thought he did a really, really good video. So you guys should go check that out. He talked about a lot of things that like definitely resonated with me in terms of getting burned out of like, just like having to stay on top of like different stores that get all these things. And this is why, honestly, like the, like one of the coolest things about the fact that Lego sent over these sets is that we're not like, I'm not driving around to all these different Walmarts. I'm not driving around to all these different things. Like, this isn't why I liked Lego, but the review thing does kind of get crazy after a while. This is such a cool, this is such a cool piece. Yeah, no, I love that. I really yeah. like that. It's so Furiosa. That's, Dude, it's that's so Mad Max. Literally, this is like the Mad Max set. It really is. <laughs> this is like, oh, let's just change Furiosa's well, it, eye it, color. Like, well, we can show you like all the minis like as we build them. They just look like it's straight out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. There's some really cool new accessories. We've been uh, ogling over this stuff. Um, Jack, you're building the Throne Room Showdown. One of my favorite sets. Amos, awesome, Tomas. Yeah, no, this, this lady, I feel bad. Do they include her names here? It, on top. Oh. Yeah. You're right, yeah. What's her name? Ha Harumi. Sorry, I don't watch the show. We don't, <laughs> don't watch the show. I'm sorry. Not sorry. You like the bricks? I will one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you won't, dude. I Just, actually hit. No, I, I, I used to. My, I tried with Nexo Knights. Oh, you used to watch I had. Okay. I have a little brother who was like okay. really into it. Okay, so. okay, okay, okay. That's fair. You've got a slightly different I have an incentive. Edge. Yeah. yeah, I tried to sit down with Nexo Nights and I watched the pilot episode and was like, no, no. <laughs> There's so many good shows that I don't have time to watch already. Yeah, but that's we love the brass, and that's sort of what it's all about. Hello, family show. Yes, it is, Helios. Uh, can I help with the Ninjago City docks? We need the help, but no. <laughs> yeah, Mike has claimed oh, yeah. full ownership over it. I know, he was like so adamant. He's like, I get to build it. I get to build it. I get to build it. And we're like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> and then he's going to leave and I'm going to finish it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to hide the last part. I'm going to skip to the last page, hide the last piece, and then just plug <laughs> it in right at the end. Uh, all right, I think that's all the mini things for the entire set. Just knocked them out in the very beginning. Lo oh, wait, no, it's not. That's a lot of figs. They give you a this lot is a $20 set, set and it, came, yeah, it, it comes came with like five that. figs. You know what, Ninjago, honestly, this is this is the cool thing about getting sets that aren't licensed. You get more, like, bang. yeah, more bang for the buck. 
Um, Brick Picker actually did a really good video. I keep on referencing this guy's video forever because he, he basically broke down um, like all these different sets and the part count, the price ratio, all that stuff. And then he was like, now let's look at the weight of the actual ABS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's all really, really close. He's like, the, the yeah, price So per, that's how they tend to be. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's kind of interesting how that works. I am fascinated, fascinated. Uh, the show is awesome. Thank you. I uh, love your, love the Skylar minifigure. Oh yeah, we get, yeah, Skylar looks really good yeah, too. The yellow, yeah. yellow ninja. Yeah. And then I'll, would, it, uh, would it be okay to link some? Okay? Jack, please do something about the audio. Oh no. Huh. Oh no. What, 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 what's, if you're talking about the echo, we're trying. <laughs> <laughs> if it's too loud, is it too loud? Boom. Oh, you're right. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, just, yeah, just use the slider. Down. Oh, yeah. Right. No, no, on the, on the computer. Just, just slide. Oh, oh you're right. Make the microphone Sorry about that, guys. Oh, where's the no. mouse? There it's trapped. No, no, hello, no, that's hello. Much, that's much. No, it's not. It's still peaking a little bit. Hold on. Hey, oh. Is that better? Tell me if it's. Mike is clipping. Sorry, Willem. Yeah. Sorry. It's going to be like another 10 or 20 seconds delay on the audio for you guys. So. I still don't know the feedback on whether or not uh, <laughs> whether or not it's, can it's you, gotten better. Can you switch into F6 for a second? F6. Oh yeah, transitions. Guys, I have a special camera here. I don't know if you can hear, but check out the booklet. Uh, it's so massive. Oh yeah. How many pages is that? I don't it's know. Like, I think it's even bigger than the 378 pages. That's pretty impressive. That's insane. It's uh, it's like over three thousand something pieces. Yeah. Dude, it's such a good deal. It's like three thousand three hundred something, and it's like two hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah. Like those yeah. They they kept they kept the so, same Ninjago that's, movie that's set. That's how my table looks like. Okay, let's switch back. Switch back. <laughs> Fire. Yeah. Oh, I clicked out. When I switch transitions, then it gets rid of. Oh wait, 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 wait. No, it did. It did switch. Yeah. No, it's fine. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing you. Is the audio better? Uh, what do you think about the solo TIE fighter? Solo TIE fighter mock? Um, I definitely saw, there was a guy that did uh, at Star Wars days, he, he took the new TIE fighter, um, he took the new TIE fighter set and he, uh, and he just added that ridiculous extra giant cannon onto the side. <laughs> yeah, and I was I like, that looks cool. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's something I think anybody could get behind. It's just so simple. It's like, hey, take a traditional TIE fighter and add a giant cannon. <laughs> and you're like, all right, sweet, let's do that. Um, so that was cool. But you know what they did in those was they made the inside of it red. They made the inside of the cockpits a little red. And it was part of that is just kind of like, why? <laughs> well, that's like the whole first order thing, right? That's but this like, is yeah. before. So it's like the That's empire. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh my god, it's no. empire. It's just like a it's just like a weird art choice, and I'm like, all right, I get that they're bad guys. It was like it was like the whole like first order doing the Nazi salute, and you're just like, yeah, why? <laughs> like I get that they're evil. <laughs> they went really hard on the propaganda side of. Yeah. <laughs> the, the it was it was a little bit yeah, it's a little bit heavy handed yeah. is what we're trying to say. Uh, yes, Mike's daughter is here. What is your favorite mech? From the movie, oh, Fire Mech is up there because it's just so traditional looking. Um, and then, but the Green Ninja Mech Dragon, it's cool in the sense that it's just an awesome mechanical dragon, but I don't even think of it so much as like traditional mech. But it does kind of remind me of like um, the old Gundam Wing show with like that dragon mech with the dragon arms. Um, I love Brick Ball, thank you, Philip. Whoa, we got a lot of people jumping in on the stream. I don't know how many of the sets we're gonna be able to build uh, today. We're gonna, how, what time is it? We got some time. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we got some time. Uh, how, how late are you staying, Mike? What's up? How, how late are you staying till? Maybe five. All right. Yeah, so we got, this is gonna be a decently long stream. Um, chances are we're gonna be able to get most of the sets done and then we're gonna finish it off tomorrow. So all of the new Ninjago sets will be done by the end of tomorrow. I feel like we'll only really get stuck on the really, really big ones. Yeah. I mean, yeah, those, those will be the biggest. Yeah, we'll just take time. Time. 
But I, I mean, I'm looking forward to those ones the most. Rocket Raccoon, what's up? How do you feel about Brick Show getting terminated? You know what? Uh, I think you guys should watch the Brick Show's video on that. The Brick Show Shop or the Brick Shop Show. Yeah. They did a video. Jason just, uh, I just saw it. Um, it's like a 25 minute long video. And I think Jason uh, has a pretty good perspective on sort of the whole matter. Um, and I, 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 I like what, what he had to say. So um, I think you guys should watch his video on that if you haven't yet. I don't think a lot of people have seen it. When I watched it this morning, it was like 13,000 views. Where's the video? Uh, it's from their brick shop show. Oh, they yeah, they have like three or four alternate little yeah. channels. I want to see it because um, I heard that from the news. Yeah, no, he, he, he had, you know, they didn't make any excuses basically. He was like, what happened happened. And like, you know, he talked about um, kind of the getting stressed out and kind of burned out from having to do all these reviews like so fast and so back to back. And, and I was like, yeah, dude, I, t like, I totally get that. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, no, I think, I think they know what's up. He's been on, they've been on the platform forever. So I think he's got a, he knows what's up. Um, the Brick Show, yeah, Leak Photos, yeah, Matt Flynn's name. Oh no, I hope this whole thing, this whole thing's gonna be about the Brick Show. I bet everyone in the <laughs> comment section, like, Brick Show, Brick Show, Brick Show. Uh, but yeah, if you should you should watch their video though, seriously. Um, it's on Brick Shop Show, Brick Show Shop. Uh, one of those. Jay and Cole, your favorite. I'm all about uh, Zane. Extra pieces. Uh, yeah, just so you don't have to get confused. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying, like, these, these are like just in time. <laughs> they're like, what are those three? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, this is per I really like this format too, where it's like maybe not streaming as often, but doing like cool, more fun. Big build. Like us we, hanging yeah. out are in the exactly room. Not, really interacting. We well, we're having fun. I don't know if they're having fun. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> are we fun? Did we pr get promoted to fun league? On a scale of one you to the ten. Uh, ready to share the video. Uh, this isn't Ninjaga related, but who is your favorite superhero? Batman, 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 Batman. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man? Spider-Man. If Spider-Man and Batman went head to head, Batman would win in a second. If Batman had pre-planning, I'd give it to you. He always has pre-planning. For someone who doesn't exist to him? Yes. <laughs> He's got contingency plans. I'm you just, think he hasn't crossed I'm, over to the Marvel Universe? I'm just saying, like, spider man I think, feel is smart enough to contend, at least, and is, is way more powerful. Oh, interesting. It's hidden. It's a hidden dagger and a key that slides underneath. Very interesting. Oh, okay. That's cool. Cool. Just in case, you know, because everybody plans to have a battle in the throne, <laughs> obviously, in the throne room. That's the, keep all your armories. Whoa, I like the swords. This looks good. Hello, how's it going? Do we have any? I'm just looking around, making sure that people that donate on Twitch don't get neglected. I feel bad when well, that happens. This doesn't need to be fresh for that, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I think on this, on your right monitor, you have Twitch on the right. You can just make the chat. No, that one. Oh, okay. If you slide you to your make, right, you yeah. Make the chat pop up and see what the oh. Chat. Yeah, it should be on the right side. The, the right window, yeah. The what? This one? Yeah. Yeah. So the, ch the chat should be like right there. You see all those little symbols? I'm pretty sure that's it on the right. Wait, where? Can you, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah, no, we oh, oh. we have the chat here too. No, this well, this yeah, has yeah. both. This has I both. Think Twitch chat. Yeah, I know. Oh uh, No, I was just making sure that the like follows and, and donations and stuff that are on that screen. On this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you guys get these? Lego actually sent them to us, guys. I know that's gonna harbor resentment, <laughs> but they sent them to us. This is the first time we've gotten a full wave, which is crazy. This is really cool. Um, so we're super, super excited. Um, get to just finally build like Lego in a Lego studio. We've yeah. been setting up so much yeah, in the last- been a lot of- guys, it's coming back Oh, so cool, these are all spirits. Yeah. Yeah. And then today was just like all those invoices. I did the- Did you, did you <laughs> yeah, actually do that? I finished them off. Uh, but it took a while. Mm -hmm. Made massive orders. We're going to be doing 
Ramon has been doing research on tons of collections. Like, how many figs total did you think you scripted out? Probably about, like, 250 isn't a bad guess, I would say. 250 figs, yeah. yeah. And it's funny, with every theme, there's, like, a different quirk to, like, the information being missing, or, like, God, yes. like why is this labeled weird? Why are all these figs labeled here and not there, or something? So, it's, it's like uh... like, every theme has its problems. Navigating <laughs> the weird catacombs of, like, 90s websites. <laughs> <laughs> Need some what? Uh, not, yeah, sure, yeah. I say no now, but I probably will need it later. Um, here we go. We got some, I like that these bat belts are getting used for more things now. I'm getting them in all different colors now. What do you mean? Like this was oh, the yeah, bat right. belt from, yeah, the, yeah. from the movie. It's like this utility belt. Yeah. Oh wait, and I put it on. Oh wait, no, they want it this way. That's kind of cool. Like a Normally it's the other way. It's not from this set, but I really like that, that shoulder brace with the dagger in the front. That looks really good. You'll see it soon. So <laughs> soon. Brickbuster is awesome. The new Harry Potter wave is better than the summer Star Wars sets to me. You know what? I'm inclined to not disagree with you too much. I'm, I'm, I'm not totally excited about the new Star Wars wave. Some of the new Star Wars sets that just recently got revealed that we'll talk about in the news on Saturday, some of those, uh, some of those look really good, but that initial wave release or like the image release didn't really have me too excited. Yeah, it was. Well, the prices, dude. Like, yeah, I saw you. I saw this you looking at like comparing the out, pricing. Like, if 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 there were, if these were Star Wars prices, like for the Ninjago stuff, these would all be so much more. Uh, but everything that I that I looked at here, the part to price ratio for this wave is pretty good here. How often are these live streamed? All right, I think we didn't update our description in our videos where we're like, we do it Monday to Friday, which we basically haven't been doing <laughs> hardly at all. We, we streamed once last week, which was just like a Q&A, and then um, we got here. We we'll to, be you know, streaming today <laughs> and tomorrow. Um, and I think it's gonna be a little bit more sporadic, at least in the beginning, because there's still so much to set up in the, uh, the sum total of this, of this space. Like we need to get trash cans with lids. We need to get yeah. like just all these like bags of this, and uh, we're still soundproofing. It's, like, it's this the place. random little things that I've all added up. Yeah, and you're like, oh, it shouldn't be that much, but this is a big space. So uh, slowly but surely, everything is. Uh, oh, I should have. Oh no, I should have gone over to the. What happened? Nothing. I was just canceling uh, a mail subscription, and I was supposed to drive over to the UPS store <laughs> and finish that. And I didn't, and now we'll, I will probably have to do it tomorrow. Bam, bam. What day is it for you? It's Thursday, and Euro is higher priced than dollar. Yes, but barely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right now, it's barely higher. Um, it used to be consistently a bit higher, but not anymore. See ya. The video on Twitch is not working. What? All right. Will... If the video in Twitch is not working, if other people on Twitch say that it's not working, please, please let me know. But it might, it might, it might just be him. <laughs> it's like, it's a very real possibility too. Yeah, it's, it's you can see the feed. Yeah, the refresh your stream or something. Yeah, I hear the outside noise. Party, yay. How's it going, Alex? What's going on, guys? It's working. Do mocks from the Clone Wars. Yeah, we'll do a couple. I know everybody wants that Republic gunship, dude. <laughs> I get an email awesome. from that probably two times a week. Just, hey, knock it. I just wanted to like pop in and say you should do the Republic gunship for one of your mock builds. I'm like, I know, I know. We should. It'll happen eventually. Um, it takes forever to get instructions done, guys. Uh, the more complex and crazy the mocks get, the longer it takes to part out. Uh, like the B-Wing, everyone's like, where's the B-Wing, where's the B-Wing? We're like, dude, we're still like parting, step, <laughs> like we've got somebody stepping out the instructions. It takes a long time. Um, like the Phantom's been designed, but we, like oh, our that... people that are stepping out yeah. are stepping out other things for us. So it's like, you know, there's only, 
so much you can do. Oh wow, look at this mohawk piece. It's so cool, yeah, and it's it the is. soft material. Yeah, it's it like, is. Yeah. I think that came out from like a wave or two ago in a different color, and they're using it a lot more often now. That's awesome. Yeah. It's dope, man. There's, I've, I've, I remember, um, actually no, did you guys watch the Toys That Made Us on Netflix? Uh, yeah. The, the Lego one? Um, I thought it was interesting. They kind of talked about like a lot of people not liking you a know, lot of the I, new I pieces. How, I told you how surprised I was to get to know that Bionicle was the actually <laughs> saved Lego from going. Yeah, yeah, Bionicle was one of the saved new themes. Not but, Star Wars, Bionicle. Well, it was, Star Wars came, I think, a little later after. Yeah. No, Star Wars came first. Was it? And a year after Star Wars license, Lego hit the point. Oh, okay, yeah. And they had like Jack Stone, all this crazy stuff. Jack Stowe. And then they came out with Bionicle which saved the company. Yeah, no, the, the the story is pretty interesting. But what I found interesting is that they talked about how a lot of people, like even now, don't like a lot of the new pieces being molded. And I was like, really? <laughs> Everybody, all the builders I meet are like, dude, check out this cool new piece. Like, <laughs> if it fits within the system, people in general are like, everybody I meet seems to like the new stuff. Uh, but perhaps maybe when they first started changing up some of the special molds, maybe that was more of a common thing. That was kind of during my dark ages, so I might not be the greatest authority on that. But that was something, they mentioned it two or three times in the Netflix thing, and I was like, is this a thing that I don't know about? Do people, is everybody hating on new Lego parts? Because I'm loving it. So. I think that was like just somebody, somebody told the documentary and they're like, this is how everybody feels. Right, exactly. I was like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. What's your favorite Lego movie? What did you think about the Lego movie 2 trailer? I love the part, uh, but what's the turn, oh, the turn signal. They stole that from Bart in The Simpsons. That's a Simpsons episode. Oh yeah. They totally took that. Well, to be fair, like the Simpsons have done so much at this point. Right, it's, it's a classic. Yeah. Simpsons did it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I like the Lego movie the best out of the three that have come out. Uh, and I was excited for the Lego movie 2 trailer. It looks, it looks like a, a, it's gonna have a lot of the same humor. And so hopefully the story is just as good or comparable. Um, Jack, did you saw Jurassic World 2? I did not see it, nope. That just came out like today. <laughs> oh, did it? How did you, yeah, how oh. would you have seen it? Really? How, did just I thought it, it, I swore it came out. For, it comes out the twenty second. The sets came out uh, forever yeah, ago, yeah. so it come, I don't know. Technically, head, it's like, officially it's out tomorrow, but like you know, it's always like a day or two early. No, I haven't seen it, and I don't really have plans on seeing it. Did you see the Expanse episode eleven, season three? No, <laughs> I'm not caught up yet. So good, <laughs> actually. To be honest. Episode 10 was really good, and then episode 11 was like, it was a classic, like, all right, this crazy stuff happened. Now everybody's got to just be stuck in dumb situations where they, you know, it's like, oh, I'm pinned behind this thing, and I have to, like, make it out behind from this. Okay. And then, like, at the end of the next episode, like, nothing really new happens, like, yeah. not a whole lot. They're just new. stuck. Yeah. Yeah, like, I know what you mean. They're like, oh, one of those filler episodes. Sort of. Few things happen, but nothing like too crazy. Um, let me make sure that I'm not. Okay. Interesting. I'm almost. Oh no, I got one more bag, but I'm, I'm getting there. I like that the in this one the highlights that we have are not oh, heavy handed. That was one thing that I think some of the earlier seasons from Ninjago really. I feel like really date it now, like with the with like the really heavy neon highlights and all that mm. stuff from some of the other, some from some of the other themes. But this has like some bright colors, but I feel it fits with the current like if anything the theme the season. Like it just yeah it, it works. With They've it. always got to have it because you know it's a kids thing. Yeah. They don't want to make it too like gritty and real. You know I get it. Uh, do Brickheads uh, video? Yeah, we will. Jack, the audio and video is out of sync. Uh -oh. Uh, yeah, it's possible. Um, Mike, uh, the audio and video are out of sync. Yeah, it is. That's what I was saying. Well, there might be a slight delay. Uh, once again, it's really hard to troubleshoot once the stream is started. Um, I will. Because we're, we're not running the microphone through the camera anymore. Yeah, so. Yeah. 
No, JK, joke, no, no, no. Anyone remember me? No. Uh, are you going to watch the new Luke Cage season? No. I watched Jessica Jones, the first season, and everybody was like, it's the best Marvel show. And I was like, it's an okay show, sort of. It was whatever. I don't know. You guys watch any of those Marvel shows? All of them. You were, <laughs> oh my gosh. You're one of those guys. I like it. Uh, <laughs> What? I I haven't watched the new Luke Cage. I don't know if it's out already. I don't. Did think you watch yet. the what? What about the Iron Fist? I did watch it. You I watched, watched all, Iron yeah. Fist. It's not as bad as some people were making it out to Dude, see. It's fine. Well, you like Jessica Jones, right? Yes, I did. I I thought it was all right. I watched the whole season, so like I can't be like oh, it was terrible. I watched everything, uh, but <laughs> I don't know. The end. It was just there's so many times where it's just like Jessica. Seriously, just take the guy out. Like, there's so many opportunities, but. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're cold hearted. It could just No, do that. <laughs> because the, her reasoning for not taking out what's his name, Kilgrave, the entire season gets totally thwarted at the end. Because, like, I'm going to protect this one person. Oh, I guess that didn't work out. <laughs> uh, Daredevil is the best Netflix Marvel. Really? Okay. Yeah, no, Daredevil's the best show. Really? Out of all of them? Out uh, of the four? Well, out of the five, I guess, with Punisher. Yeah, no, Daredevil is like the best. Why one. isn't Kill... He, they, they exist within the Marvel Cinematic Universe somehow. Uh, why isn't Killgrave encounter him? Why isn't... Why doesn't Killgrave become the most powerful supervillain, period? Like, why doesn't he walk into Tony Stark's building? He's right there. Oh, it's like the whole thing of, like, he doesn't have aspirations. He's a lazy, you know... That's such a... <laughs> Why? Like, it, it's literally... He's... Yeah, he has, like, some cool super... There's... Yeah, they got superpowers. You think he wouldn't do it on a whim, but he's so, like, free whatever, kind of like, all right, I guess I'll do this. I guess I won't do this. You know, like, you think it wouldn't occur to him one day to just try that out? Like, like my, my thing on that is he's, like, legitimately crazy. He, it, that's he, the only way you can justify it. Yeah, you, you can't put sense to his actions. Uh. So bad. Anyways, um, lighting 10, yeah, it looks really nice. 220 watching now, heck yeah! Do you think LEGO will ever make sets of the TV shows Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Jessica Jones? <laughs> um, no. no. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if they've got a huge incentive to. No. I don't see why they would. Nah. If they're gonna, you know, they, they've got their Marvel superheroes line, and they're gonna stick with the classics, because the classics will always do really good. I mean, they do actually have, like, Luke Cage did come out in a set, and, you know, a lot of these characters did. They haven't done Daredevil. Luke Cage did come out in a set? Yeah, he did. Which one? I don't know, some older one. I think it's like, a 2014 one. Um, or maybe it was a more recent one. I can't remember. But uh, they... Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. It would be cool to shows. get some of this. It yeah. would be cool to like, it would be fun to have like as a extra fig in, in a Marvel set, like a Jessica Jones fig. That'd be cool. Look at this. Look at my Destiny's wing. I like, I like, I like how it looks. The plates yeah, there. Seriously. That's a cool. Look at this. Here, we you can get that other. Actually, let's switch to, uh, let's switch to, to that one. Yeah. There's two. I can't even see any. I'm sure. just going to start hitting random buttons. Nope, that's Mike's. Hi. Right. <laughs> I'm going to hit this nope. button. Hey, yeah, this is the one. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to zoom it in. Yeah, let me get around. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let me tilt it downwards. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Kai's Whoa. Destiny Wing. Whoa. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Jet Jack. Hold on. Let me zoom it in slow and it'll focus. Focus. This camera is gonna focus. Come on, focus. come on. Come on. Put more of your hand in the background. Like, put your other hand. Yeah, there you go. It's a This is Jet Jack. My new Sig Fig, guys. Pretty cool, right? He's awesome. Very cool. Alright, I'm going to zoom that back out a little bit. Uh, but then come around. I swear there's things happening in the stream. So many people watching. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting things happening. Okay. I could have pressed the button. I didn't know that's what you were trying to do. Oh. <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about the new Lego Bugatti Technic set? Mike, what do you think about, about the new Lego Bugatti so Technic set? Mike bought it. He's yeah, like, I'm building it. It's sitting here in the studio. 
Uh, so you guys will see a video on it at some point. It will happen. Uh, I didn't realize these all have the theme to collect all the, the gold stuff. What gold stuff? Uh, the golden dragon. Oh, it's oh. the sword. Yeah. Yeah, they, <laughs> well, they all, every wave of Ninjago has yeah, I didn't some know kind of this that. Is, uh, yeah. yeah. Oops, see. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this room is going to get full. Yeah, this, this plane Jet has Jack, uh, a awesome. lot of projectiles. Jack, uh, <laughs> Jack is. Jet Jack is female, dot, dot, dot. I'm pretty sure it looks. Oh, does she look? Like, I can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell? Oh, you're right. How, yeah. That totally is female. She's got lipstick. A little bit. Yeah, with a painted white face, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like that's a war paint thing. She, yeah, it, Jack it does have, like, can be waist, used so. as, no, a, as a girl's name. It is. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's a female. All right. Um. I guess I'm done poor Mike. So. Poor Mike what? Just poor Mike in general. Ron looks like Cisco from The Flash. That's about the hundredth time. <laughs> it's funny because like I, my roommate would watch The Flash a lot, so I would see some episodes with him, and I never even thought about it. Never thought about it once. Okay. Uh, so you're done with that one. Yeah. Next, next one. One. Let's see which has the coolest name. Or no, you know what? Okay, I'll get another relatively small one out. I'll get the I think it's the boost one. That is the This is Stormbringer, I think. Stormbringer. Yeah. I thought of that independently. <laughs> um, Stormbringer. Stormbringer. Will there ever be a Lego Gremlin set? I wish. They made the Gremlins fig, and everyone's like, what Gremlins? And then they never do it. Uh, they made the Beetlejuice guy, and they never do the Beetlejuice set. They did do Powerpuff Girls, which I thought was awesome. Really? Uh, yeah. I they, never saw this. Yeah, they came out recently, I think. I think not yet. Oh, not yet? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're not. Because we we'll totally get them when they come out, for sure. Uh, because I, as soon as they announced Powerpuff Girls for Dimensions, I was like, we need Mojo Jojo! <laughs> and then they made sets, and Mojo Jojo's in one, so. That's all I care about. Um, I'm going to try and get them all. Uh, great hall set. Oh yeah, no, the, the Harry Potter sets look so cool. Um, can you guys please do an every Jurassic World minifigure ever made collection? Sure, I think we ha I think we have them all. I just yeah, don't I think we, we kind of just have them. Yeah, we, we just have there. them and we just haven't done anything with them. We will. It will happen. The Jurassic World. You want Stormbringer? I think they've done a better job too, just in general, with the uh, the brick built dragons from Ninjago. They look really cool. I've said it for the longest time. I honestly kind of like the way they build the elves' dragons better from the elf set. Oh yeah. Minus the the silly kind of graphics they have on the face. Yeah. I mean that that's kind of like part of the set, I guess. Yeah. But uh. But they build themselves. The Ninjago dragons have definitely gotten better. For sure they have. Took a page from elves. <laughs> they walked across the hallway to the elves designer yeah. room. And they're, they're like, like hey, oh, that's wait. a cool dragon. <laughs> can, you, can you give me some pointers on this dragon? Um, I'm getting all the Harry Potter sets. Dude, everybody is saying that. The Harry, dude, the Harry Potter sets are going to be flying off the shelves. I have a bit, I have a feeling. Just got a feeling. Should I get Jurassic World set today? I don't know. Did you? I don't know how many of those sets we held on to. I held on to some of the buildings and a few of the pieces of certain sets that I liked. Oh, but we have, a lot we have of like that, that big mansion. Yeah, yeah I like, yeah, I saved, I saved the mansion. I saved the mansion. Who's your favorite Sith Lord? Does Revan count as a Sith Lord? Ah, uh, yes. But he kind of, he kind of fluctuates though. That's his whole thing. Yeah, but he was a Sith Lord, so I'll take it. Okay, fine. <laughs> but it's like, Okay, yeah, I guess, because you can't like not say Darth Vader's a Sith Lord. Exactly. Like, technically, he right? himself but, minutes before he dies. But like, Revan re changes way for like a long period of time. Yeah, but he's cool. So. <laughs> I know, he is cool. He, it's crazy. You know they made a Revan fig. Yeah, I saw it. It was like, wasn't it like a? Yeah, yeah, it was collectible. Yeah, he's part of the. May, I think it was May the Fourth. And then they stopped doing cool, weird, interesting, exclusive characters for May the Fourth. 
And then they stopped doing exclusive pigs at all. Give me the fourth. I was like, all right. All right. This is it. This is the last thing right here. What is this? Oh, interesting. Attention this way. It's a lot of swords. I know, right? Um, and those are the spares. And that is the throne room. Not a bad play area, gotta say. All right, I'm gonna switch to main view. Okay, oh, okay, so this is the throne room. That actually looks kinda good here. I'll just give you a quick rundown as to what the set looks like, the figs and everything, and uh, then I'll move on to a larger build as well. Harry Potter is so overrated. No, no. Actually, I, I don't know how well rated it is. I like it. Uh, I was I was 10 when I read the first Harry Potter book, like when it first came out. And so I was kind of growing up at almost the exact same age as Harry Potter in the books as they came out. So <laughs> you were, it was you like were, the best thing ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So let's look at the least interesting figure. Oh my gosh. I wish I could zoom it. I'm just going to stand. Oh yeah, that one comes with a lot of figures. So actually, let's, can I just zoom it? Oops. Okay. That's easier. I'd rather sit. Okay, so Lloyd. Okay, the detailing has definitely changed. I mean, every. I mean, this is this is his standard Lloyd detailing uh, that comes for. I, I would guess all of the rest of the sets. He doesn't have a cowl or any pieces of the cowl. He's got his blonde hair instead. It's a good blonde hair piece. Definitely good for like, you know, a surfer dude or something for the beach. Uh, yeah, but I would say relatively basic armor printing. Woo. I'm gonna grab my favorite. Now this is why we keep calling the uh, this theme the Mad Max theme. Look at her face. It's Furiosa. <laughs> it's Furiosa when they were like, okay, if we make it in silvery color, then or kind of gray, uh, people are gonna catch on. So let's just do it in red. And of course, well, they changed their hair around, but it's kind of an interesting yeah, hairpiece to I have. Mean, you take off the hairpiece. Fan. Yeah, Furiosa. <laughs> and I like that it kind of cuts down on one side, like it's a streak. And then and then some pretty well, uh, some pretty good detailing, kind of reserved. Not too many flashy highlights. You can see some spikes, a little bit of blue, some silver. Uh, yeah. Solid looking fig with a red blade, white hair. Red, that's just like a good look for a fig, right? Um, and then this is Skylar. Skyler reminds me of another ninja that we got um, in a wave or two ago. I can't remember. Did we get Skyler before? No, maybe. I'm bad with Ninjago, but I like the, the the shoulder brace. That's probably the best part for me, and the fact that she comes with a red utility belt. I should have cut my nails. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, all right, nah. Hey yo. Whoop. She looks good. I like I like her detailing better than Lloyd's. Just the general. They they you know what's interesting is the curves for the negative space that make up the hips. They feel a little bit more curvy, like they cut in at a harsher angle more on this figure. They definitely do. They totally do. They've changed up. They made the hips a little bit more hippy. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then uh, who's this last Samurai X? Sorry guys, I know. Oh wait, no, we've gotten Samurai X before. There's the detailing for the face. Ooh, with the big green eyes, I like that. This is if Captain America was a Samurai. <laughs> this is exactly what he would look like. Okay, um, is that everything? Okay, that's it for the figs. And then this is the throne room itself. I like the, the, the general build for the throne, solid. Solid build for the throne. Deer antlers, lots of torches, four swords in the back, and then two of the gold ones here. Good. They were pretty reserved with the highlights, a bit of red. Of course, you want to have the royal red carpet coming out and some red highlights. And purple is actually also a pretty royal color too. But they didn't they didn't overdo it, you know? They didn't overdo it. Uh, yeah, good. I like, we get these golden, um, what do you call them? I don't know. The, 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 the fence pieces, the arch pieces. There's only one of them, but it's really, it's what a good, is it? what is this? It's like for the fence. Oh yeah, it's like a fence, that's a fence. Yeah, it's a, they, there's a better name for it and I can't think of it. Extra sword, blade, okay. And then here has uh, four more gold swords. So tons of swords in this set. 
It's a 177, nope, 122 pieces. Sells for 20 bucks, comes with five figs. Dude, this is gonna be, this is gonna be the most popular set. Yeah, that's a pretty good Five one. figs. Pretty good it's a, uh, it's 18 pounds or it's 20 euro or $20. Um, yeah, pretty good. Just from initial impressions. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep them all together so we know which figs come in which when we I do just, the- I put mine over there if you want to just like- Ah! Gotcha. I'm just gonna like- Yeah, you have a ton of figs, so. <laughs> All right, you're building that dragon? Okay, I'm gonna yeah. build, I'm gonna build. This is firstborn. Oh, you wanna put all that stuff in here? Maybe oh yeah, the spares. Everything, you know? eh. Sorry guys. I've never got the original Kai, I need him. I want a female torso with that small indent so it looks nicer. Oh. That would be interesting if they started just doing indented torsos, like on a regular minifig. I wonder if that would be the answer instead of the friends. Oh, instead of the friends figs, you know what I mean? I wonder. I don't know. Um, I think what, I think the why they don't do that is so you can kind of switch around all the different like city figure pieces. So it's like, you don't have to have like a female pilot yeah. thing. You just switch the female face onto like the standard big thing. I think that's why they chose to do an entirely new figure. But that is kind of an interesting, I don't know if I'd be totally against that. No, I think it'd be a good idea. I wouldn't point. be totally against it if they didn't already have friends figs. <laughs> I think that's maybe where I stand. Yeah, this is totally new. Look, it's not even tabs, not even with the big one. This is, these are the thumb. See, yeah, no, that's what the, I thought. I like, this is, is like, this geez. is new for the big sets. I've seen maybe boxes this big that have the uh, the, the thumbprint openings, but um, this one. Firstborn is awesome, Jack's kid in background maybe. No, it's Mike's kid, I don't have a kid. Um, hey Jack, Stop can you switch to Mike for a minute? Can we switch to Mike for a minute? Uh, Mike is standing up. I'm vlogging now. Mike <laughs> is vlogging. You want me to switch to that that, that camera? Uh, yeah, I can show it on. six? Yeah. All right, it's all you, Mike. So, you do have the base for the dogs. I'm not sure if you can do it with the dogs, but... Probably can. Probably can. Now. The base for the dogs, we are on bag number two. So, Black fence, 1x4x2 ornament Asian lattice. Ahead, so. See, I knew there was a better word for that, Ramon. Talk to you, Jack. All right. It's, it's called... Fence part is... Oh, uh, it's like 1x4x2 black fence lattice or something. Oh, oh you meant the, like the shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they found like the exact name for it. Um, okay, this is, uh, this is what, Firstborn? Yeah, see this dragon does look better. It does look better than um, what was coming out a yeah, couple no, years like, there's, ago. I think there's this blue one, that red one, then there's the green one in the really big set. Look they at this chopper, really dude. Good. It's got like a turkey hanging off the back. Yeah, is it like <laughs> bait? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's my yeah. He's got look at this guy. Oh yeah, no. Look at his name <laughs> on the top. That's his name. Heavy metal muzzle chewy toy. Chew toy. Chew toy. He's totally oh my the gosh, bait. these characters are amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that cow piece. It's so yeah. cool. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, there's another jet. I know. I got Lloyd. Now you've got one fig. He's like, I got this is my fig. Like it's so fun. He's like, oh, that's Lloyd. Like in all the other sets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy them. All right. A lot of these minis are like just so unique. They're so wow. There you go. Look at that red. Feels softer than the other plastic ones for some reason. It's nice. I like that. Ninjago City Docs. When's uh, when Ramon's making his debut video? Hashtag new guy. <laughs> ah. I don't know. Maybe you'll do one of these Ninjago reviews. Sure. I'll be like, Ramon, review this set. And be like, what do I say? I'm like, I don't know, something. And that's that's exactly where how everything falls apart. <laughs> yeah, it'll just be him being like, hey, what Lego Star Wars set would you like to see? Um, so many. I would love <laughs> to see a GR75. Oh, yeah. GR75, anybody? Um, Mon Calamari. Mon Calamari in a... That's so hard to do. That's what I'm saying, it'd be so hard to do. To be fair, 
making a GR75 and like Mon Calamari, you could have like weird like nodes that you could add on to the top oh, of yeah, it and yeah, kind of have that weird. It would look pretty They're both neat. smooth in a not really that similar way, but. Um, all right, I'm going to toss these tabs on the floor for now. Um, let's get this open. Not too many stickers. Guys, I'm liking this. You guys aren't big fans of stickers. Ninjago sets are always going to have stickers. Uh, if you can't accept that, well, that's, that's not my problem. But not too many in this. This is a pretty big set in terms of part count. Firstborn has 851. I have to check my reference thing because these sets were sent to us by Lego. Thanks again, Lego. Uh, and the factory boxes don't have the titles and they don't have the uh, part count. Uh, how many parts is that? 851. And yours, yours is, uh, Stormbringer is 470. Okay. Uh, for a second, I thought these stickers were textured, but they're not. I was just sure yeah, that's excited. Excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is a new vinyl material. Oh, it is a new vinyl material for the wings. Is that what you're saying? Because I thought, I thought they felt softer. Um, they do. They do feel a little softer. That's cool. Um, you guys should stream on the end of the week and because everyone could watch you. Yeah, but like Ramon's, well, yeah, Ramon, tomorrow. like the Friday is like the weekend. It's the new weekend, right? Um, people, well, not gonna blame I'm here or? on the weekends. No, 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 no. I'm just weekends. saying like in general, I don't want to like oh, make right, us right, a right. regular schedule to right. obligate people to come in on the weekends every time because that would not be fun if that was the normal case. Um, give me a shout out, tell me something. Okay, European box normally have the push tabs, Jack, even the big ones. Really? So we got the European box. Guys, I am learning new things every day. I think they sent it from Bill. But yeah, they did, they did. Ooh, I'm building the helicopter first. Who knew they'd be making a helicopter with a chicken as bait attached to it, it's amazing. Um, all right, let's see what, ooh, and a new blade accessory pack. These are gonna be coming That's out. That's what I'm saying, look at all these weapons I got. Like, I was, I was wondering yeah. why I had so many. Yeah, it's like a new thing. Oh, uh, you know how like the Marvel sets came out with all those fire and right, like explosion guess, yeah. little pieces? And when they come in these bags, that means whenever you get them, you always get this bag of them. Like you don't just get a piece of that in the set usually. Oh, you so get like all of whereas them I needed maybe two or three of these. Like the tool pieces, all. you get right. you get all the different get wrenches the and everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so that's cool. I like that. It's a new, it's a new thing. I haven't seen that. Fun fact: Jang stands for just a nice guy. Is that intentional? I don't know. Hey, Charlie, you want to build? Yep. Oh. Huh? I'm the only one in the Yeah. You're the only girl? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. Bow, bow. Alrighty. Now, number one. Um, we do this, Marco. What do you got? What are you eating? Are you eating Lego? Chips. Don't let her eat the Lego. <laughs> oh, these headphones are really, really cool. Does Mike speak Russian? Yes, Mike is. Uh, oh, we got a super chat. Oh, we got a super chat from CCB Minecraft and more. Thank you. For the super chat donation, uh, yes, Mike is Mike's definitely Russian. No, I'm not Russian. It's definitely <laughs> Russian. You should I'm spread. Sokovia. You should spread that around. I'm Sokovia. Uh, oh no! Everyone's like, "Stop it! He's Polish." <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got everyone on your defense. <laughs> I come from Sokovia. Well, Mike's had to explain that like a million yeah, times. Know, a million times he's been I like. Don't care <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm the citizen of the world. I can be in the middle. It's so funny, though. Switch to the docks. Not it the hasn't city. changed that much. When he oh. finishes the water, we'll switch it over. Yeah, that'll be a cool shot. It looks exactly the same as it did a no, minute ago. I want to be, 
I live close to San Diego, but it's too hot. Um, yeah, honestly, it's not that bad right now. <laughs> it's been yeah, really yeah, nice I, I, recently. It looks right now, it does. Yeah, sure, it'll get warm sometimes. If you live a bit inland, yeah, you can burn up real quick. But oh wait, that's not that's not Cole's legs. Cole, there are your legs. Lego. What's the direct consumer set for Harry Potter? Um, is it is that the dining hall or is that something else? Uh, that's supposed to be a micro scale Hogwarts. Oh, the micro scale Hogwarts. Uh, I wonder. Cool. I wonder if uh, that guy that submitted the micro scale Hogwarts to ideas if they based their design on his because his was super cool. It was really big. A micro scale form of Hogwarts is a big build. It's a really really big one. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's how they did it. That'd be a nice, nice piece to have. Just like a nice, you know. Dude, it'll be like this big. Yeah, because it'll it's, be like, huge. it's a long and then tall, kind of like on one side. Yeah, and they're going to have like, you know, the Whomping Willow, and they're going to have the Edge of the Forest, and they're going to have uh, the Quidditch mat. They're going to have everything. Yeah, literally. The lake and everything. Yeah, they'll do it all. Um, well, I'm it's not a, it's a lot of space. Should be cool. For what? Hogwarts? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Today is your last day of school and I cannot be spending it better. Awesome. I am glad. Oh, yeah, I guess school is coming out. That's why my mom likes to get with me. Oh, right. <laughs> right, right. Do the math, Jack. <laughs> uh, no, I refuse. Math is oh, that's work, work of the devil. <laughs> oh, this is a really cool. Look at this. Got like, he's got like metal teeth. Oh, is that like that? Oh, it's like a grill. Yeah. <laughs> or braces. And, and a bullet shot on the eye part of the visor. And a mohawk. Hey, amazing. Lego sent them. Yeah. Lego sent them to us. Yeah. Cloud City could be microfig now that the micro fig Hogwarts. But it's all confirmed. Oh, that would I be think, cool too. Yeah, Cloud City would be a. Great. Like with uh, clouds, yeah, and then like the little, like the little like, speeders, the little red ones, Bespin speeders, that would be sweet. We could do some good stuff. This guy at, um, this guy at Star Wars Days had a really cool. It looked like a painting, you know. It looked like a picture, like a, he had it framed. And it was come to Bespin, or, you know, oh, come to Bespin, and it, yeah, and it's like all the clouds, and you can see the city in, in the, the backdrop. It wasn't the blog, I think. Yeah, I'm sure it was. It was a really cool build. Where is that one piece? There it is. Um, enjoying our stream, Jurassic World were great the movie was not so much oh see people were asking a while back hey you gonna see jurassic world and i was like mm, no i don't know yeah it's getting from joker reviews now yeah i wouldn't expect that's, I was anything that yeah time. yeah yeah totally you know Where if they, they try to promote the movie too much like like i'm making 30 sets for one movie did they really make that many sets for it yeah i would say something is fishy it's not fishy. It's just a uni it's a massive yeah, it's universal like picture. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, because you can expect the movie to not be that good. Yeah, eh, yeah. Look at this guy. Whoa, <laughs> Daddy, no legs. I am opening. Do you know to, I'm yeah. opening what is like it? F4? three, yes. three, three. I'm opening the fourth bag of just. Look at this bricks. guy. That's awesome, though. I guess, yeah, there's probably more trans blue one by twos in that set than any other set in history. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna put that. You're just putting that number out there? Out there. Yeah. I'm sure it is, though. It's gotta be. <laughs> Daddy, no legs. That's really cool. Oh. No, no. Two. Oh. Yeah, go back to two. Oh. That, yeah, that gets rid of the other yeah. stuff. What should I get? Uh, should I get the blue dragon or maybe add a little bit more money for Stormbringer? Stormbringer is the blue dragon, but yeah. <laughs> Jay and Zane minifigures. Um, I don't know. We haven't we haven't totally figured out. Um, where did I? This like comes with Zane and oh, they're okay. Jay. And adding those. Whoa! I love these blades. They look so cool. Okay, like even him. Like, doesn't he remind you of the uh, 
from Mad Max, the big, uh, the big dude, <laughs> who is like Mad Max. Oh, oh yeah, he yeah. totally does. You know what he also reminds me of is that ridiculous villain from Wild Wild West. <sighs> I don't remember yeah. what he looks like. He's got four spider legs. Literally? Yeah. Oh, this guy. Dude, you know what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah. And it's he's played by Kenneth Branagh, like the ridiculous Shakespearean <laughs> yeah, yeah. actor. It's like, oh my lord. Like, and he's got that, it's really funny. He's a super funny character. Uh, yeah, awesome. I don't know my favorite Bruce Smith movies. It's such a, it's so ridiculous, but it's so much fun. I, I, I still think it's a fun movie to watch. It's probably, it's probably one of the least celebrated movies, though. People do not like it. Uh, where do you guys buy the sets? We actually got these sent, sent, these sets sent to us uh, by Lego. Uh, so thanks again, Lego. Um, and we're gonna have the reviews out ASAP. Um, yeah, which this is the first time Lego's sent us uh, like a full wave of sets, which is really exciting. Um, yeah, when they asked us, they're like, hey, do you want all the Ninjago sets? We're like, yes, 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 yes. Um, yes, isn't Legoland in San Diego? Yes, yes. There is a Legoland in San Diego. Carlsbad. <clears throat> Carlsbad. There's worse traffic so right around bad. that it's little chunk. <laughs> it's like every time you drive up to LA or Orange County or something, every time. Because Carlsbad is a, is a beach town. Yeah. And second, it has a fair once a, once a year. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a fair in Carlsbad too? I've been to the third this year, it's pretty fun. Marco Hard of all the rules. I like Hagrid the most. Check out the stop motion channel. Hey, Hagrid is my favorite minifigure. What should my next stop motion vid be about? I don't know. Did you see the new Han Solo sets for the summer? Yes. Yes, I did. And I liked them more than the previous sort of general announcement of Star Wars sets for the summer. I kind of, I thought the speeders looked good. And, and that other ship kind of looks good. Even they did it in white, even though it should be in gray, but I think it just probably looks a little bit better in white. Um, so yeah, those ones look pretty good too. Worst traffic, the five freeway by Oceanside. Yep, it's terrible. It's the worst. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Already, already, already. Jack, did Lego send the Oni Titan? Oh, actually, no. See, I think we, the, yeah. Think the Oni Titan. We didn't send this one. That one, I feel like, is supposed to be a store exclusive release, isn't it? I don't know what it is. It's like a big brand. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it is. It is. There is. Okay, we might not have gotten every single one. I think that might be the only one. Um, but yeah, that is from something else. I know there's a there is something about the way that's getting released though. Like either, it might be exclusive to a certain retail store. Uh, I suppose we'll find out. I could probably look it up. <laughs> Not going to. Um, getting the Parisian restaurant and Brickmate tomorrow. Those those are really good sets. The Parisian restaurant is, uh, I think, my favorite modular. What's your favorite set? Ultimate Collector Series Slave One. Oh yes. Interesting. I kind of like this little rock formation. Ooh, another golden samurai head. We've got another one of these. Yes, these spike blades are so cool. All right, and now we're gonna build up the helicopter. It's a Walmart exclusive. There we go, Will made it. Yeah, so I, I don't think they send over the Walmart exclusives or any store retail exclusive set that probably wouldn't be included. Um, with a, with a wave release like this. Check out Ebert Studios, uh, worst traffic in the USA, Florida Turnpike. Never been there, 
but I, I mean, I don't doubt it's awful. I can remember getting stuck in traffic driving uh, back up to San Francisco from LA and I just learned how to drive a stick shift <laughs> and I'd like forgotten because I'd been in fifth gear for hours and hours and hours on the five. And then I hit traffic and <laughs> I couldn't start it again when I had to stop. Oh no. That was bad. And then I killed the engine like twice or three times at the uh, at the toll booth. <laughs> so were you just at the actual booth just like... Yeah, and the yeah, guy was like, it's all right, it's all right, you know. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oops. UCS Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, let's do it. It's got to be UCS Darth Jar Jar. What are you talking about? That's, that's going to be the leak. Uh-huh. And nice. Ooh, stickers. First time, okay. What is Ramon's favorite set? What is Ramon's favorite set? So I set? think I said it before. It's not like more of a favorite, it's more kind of like a I really like a lot of these sets that came out for the uh, Old Republic game, Star Wars. Uh, I, I think, I think honestly, I really like that. The it was like the Jedi Cruiser. I forgot the name of it. Uh, I can't remember. It's like this big red thing. Oh, 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 oh! I know which one you're talking about. It was, uh... I, I have played that game a lot, so I like. I really like that set. That that is that is a really popular old yeah. one. Um, what is the name of that one? I can't. It's I, such a it's such a cool looking ship. ship. It's kind of like the predecessor to the blockade runner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like it's like this old version. I just saw a that last week. I know. Yeah, the, people are constantly building that ship all the time. Um, the Torrid Smelter. No, that might be the name of one of them. Well, I'll get there. That was actually a really good set. Like it looked good. Um, here we go. Any, why does everyone, what? That is, that is exclusive. How are you? Pretty good. When did you build the fox behind Ramon? A long time ago. It's the red fox set designed by Felix Gench, a German designer. He's really good at doing animals. Uh, the red fox. There. There. It's right there. Yep. That was designed, <laughs> designed by Felix Gench and the guys over at Mock Nation uh, sent it to us. And they used to do uh, instructions. They would part out a bunch of bricks and they would do instructions and sell the manuals and the bags of bricks to people. But um, I think they, they stopped doing it. I don't know if they could, I don't think it was a viable business plan for them in the long run. Which is funny because everybody's asking us to, to do that now. And we're like, no. <laughs> they actually were right next to us. In, uh, I think they're in Orange County too. That's where the channel first was. Is it Ramon or Romon with two O's? It's, <laughs> it's, it's ramen. Yeah, it's yeah, ramen. ramen. It's R-A-M-E-N. Yes. Uh, we just call him Ramon because we feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, oh, I'll just give him a normal name. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really interesting build for a helicopter. I looked it up on Brickset a uh, month or two ago for some video, I can't remember. I just, I just highlighted the search helicopter in brick set just to see how many times the word helicopter appears <laughs> in any set. And it's like 250 or something. It's crazy. Helicopters are like a popular thing, apparently. Well, because like they, make, they make five different police helicopters a year. Yeah. You know? Like they yeah. never stop doing that. And, uh, and then just helicopters come out in basically every theme. So I was like, how many times have they actually done a helicopter? Yeah, and it's over 200 times which is insane when you think about it. Jack, what is your favorite Dragon Master set? Uh, I don't know if I've got one. Uh, what do you think of Just Do Good? 
Yeah, he, he's a, he's hustling, man. He's doing. He's he's trying hard, making uh, good videos. You know, uh, he's one of he's you know he does consistent work, and I can appreciate the hustle. We actually uh, there's a podcast. Uh, Just Do Good and I did a podcast like a, a while back, and so yeah, it was cool. It was cool to hang out with. Like I I would I, w- I would have been down to like sit down and talk for like another however long we were going. Um, but yeah, no, I've never met him. I think he's a uh, Florida. He's he's based in Florida somewhere. Go. Oops. Wait. His name is Roman Noodles. Yep. You should stream more often. We should, Alex. I want to stream more often. <laughs> um, yeah, it's totally. It's. It's time. It is time. And. What about Brick Queen? Oh, I don't know. I haven't watched. I haven't watched. There's certain sh- shows I just haven't watched in a long time, and uh, yeah, that's one of them. To be perfectly honest, I don't watch that many Lego YouTube channels as much because we do Lego YouTube all day every day. So when I sit down to watch other stuff, I'll watch a f- maybe a few other. Like, not very often I'll watch a few other LEGO YouTubers, but it's mostly just other YouTubers that I watch, not LEGO YouTubers. Like, I don't really watch set reviews anymore or anything like that. Are you using OBS Studio? Because I'm using OBS Studio right now, Brick Vault. Yes, I am. Yes, we are. We do OBS and then, I don't know, I think Streamlabs and something else. Favorite Minecraft set? Ooh. Uh, the village was really cool, but that's like one of the really big ones. There's like a general play set. I liked the, the original, uh, the Gollum, the original Gollum set. Um, they had that cool morph function where it would open up. That was a good one. <laughs> Very whippy tail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I, sw- I swear they've done that before. I don't remember from what the... Oop, there we go. I am. I am. I want to stream more often. Where is the pizza? It's not a party without the pizza. You're right, Adam Stewart. We lied to you. It's not a party. When will you do another Lego Star Wars we get some water. sets? Um, well, today's video was a Lego Star Wars set. I mean, for in terms of set reviews, I think we've done all of the contemporary ones. Like we haven't skipped a Star Wars set. Uh, maybe we've skipped one or two of the reviews, but we haven't skipped any of the builds uh, since like 2015. So when the new sets come out, we'll, we'll do them. It'll happen. This is a really interesting build for a helicopter. They came at this from a totally different angle. Different angle from what they normally do. Yeah, the tail is like the green Ninja Mech Dragon. You're totally right. The blue tail here, it's exactly like the green Ninja Mech Dragon. Um, I knew I knew I recognized it from something. Oh, interesting, okay. Mm-hmm. What did you guys think of Jang Brick's review? Definitely a thorough reviewer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that guy is, yeah. He's he's very much, he's more on top of it, I think, than uh, most other YouTubers. You should watch, um, what's his name? You should watch Jason from the from the Brick Show. He posted a video and he actually talks about how like he admires how Jang is like so good and like so consistent. Um, Cause he said he was getting burned out from just doing all these set reviews and stuff too. So, yeah, it is, it is, it's attrition, man. It, it does take a lot of time and effort and consistency, you know. Uh, Jack, they've done those tales on multiple Ninjago dragons, including the Mech Dragon from 2014. Oh yeah, no, it's not, I never messed around with those um, too much, the older ones. Just the most recent one that I was like, I know I've built that recently. Um, okay. 
this, I'm just making sure that all these spares are here. This part, this little plant piece came out. I'm gonna go back through very quickly. Jack, do you like Nash bricks? Oh yeah, he's, Nash, that guy is crazy. Um, is this supposed to go in somebody's hand? Oh, it's supposed to go here. I, I skipped that. Okay, now we're good. Uh, okay. All right, let's move on to bag numero dos. Oh, there's only one bag. It's 97 degrees here in Arizona, LOL. Yeah, that sounds like fun. It's still pretty cool here. When did you start the channel? We started the channel back in September. September of 2015. There we go. Two American and British degrees are different for some silly reason, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, I just totally see my thing like that. These faces are so ridiculous here. Just the faces for the figs. Oh, yeah. No. Totally They're on another crazy. level. <laughs> Do you guys have any desire to work for Lego as designers? Oh, no. Uh, I like to build. Um, I still need to get back on top of some Rick and Morty mocks that I was working on forever <laughs> ago, but... Um, but no, the, the people that we work with, like in the studio, uh, they're so much better uh, at building than we are. Um, so no, uh, I wouldn't want to hurt the Lego community be, by becoming an official Lego designer. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the community too much to do something like that. Um, Ridiculous. Dude, these figs are so ridiculous. Look at his face. Look at his face. Oh, wow. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, it's just, it's so different. Yep. Okay, here we go. Is Mike building Ninjago Dark? Oh, yeah, here. Mike, you want to switch back to your camera? What's up? You want to show the box? And kablam! 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 Oh. Oh, it's stuck. Oh. There you go, you're good. Alright, guys. Let me just set up the camera real quick. Bam, bam, bam. Boom. Bot number four. And here is what we have so far. That's so, a lot of photos and stuff. That's a lot of few bricks in one. We have four bags total. Um, during the pond with all the like lily pads and all the cool stuff, starting the, the actual um, shoreline here. So not, not much happening, a lot of like stacking in place. It's funny how it kind of bows up a little bit with all the tiles. Yeah, it's gonna get way with that because like I'm gonna close up a bit. But <laughs> it's gonna get heavier and should be. Yeah, pretty it's much pushing so, down the weight. That's so shaky. And the it's such a funny shot looking. I'm looking at your shot. It's ah, like on there. Shot. Whoa. You can't oh, see it at all. Yeah, it, that, it's so in there. Yeah, you'd have to really get it up there. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Bam. Bricks for back, Rubik's Cube. Sorry if this has been asked. How do you get all the sets so early? Well, this is, first of all, this is the first time we've had sets early <laughs> in like six months. Um, and we got them early because Lego sent them to us. We got super, super lucky. And uh, we're really, really happy that they asked us if we wanted to review this theme. We're like, yes, 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 yes. So, um, yeah, normally though, on a nine times out of 10 basis, we don't get these sets. Uh, early, 10 times out of 10. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, not usually. Well, this guy's got some crazy, oh man. Really cool shoulder piece though. This guy's on another level. He's got a ridiculous kind of crossbow thing. I don't even know what I'm building here. 
like half this whole bag is just building the minifigs because there's so many weird accessories for them. It's really cool looking. All right, we got this one. And this one, all the way through. Show Mike, how did you meet Ramon? We just had normal job interviews. <laughs> like, hey, Ramon, wanna work here? No, we were just walking by like you know, down on the street saying, hey. I was hey, out. you like? I was out on the street. Hey, kid, <laughs> hey, kid <laughs> come here. Come here. We baited him to the studio. That's right. Don't tell this. Uh, who's in the background? Mike is in the background. His daughter's in the background. You seen the trailer of the Lego Movie 2? Yes, and it looks good. I was really skeptical when I heard that they were changing up sort of like creative directions yeah, a while ago. With that. It's like, no, it's gonna be bad, but it ended up being pretty cool. Or it, it looks, the trailer it's gonna be fun. looks pretty promising. But I'm waiting for the system. Ooh, look what they did here. I like that. Now the, the handle is snubbed. Yeah, no, I've been noticing that for a lot of swords where, yeah, they, they've been giving them actual handles. So you handles. can change the handles. Yeah. Like, look at the... Very interesting. Like, 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 yeah, yeah. I like that. New little things can... Oh, you can do two. That's what it wants. So you can do two different snubbed handles. Nice. Are you guys waiting for the Lego movie sets? <laughs> the Lego movie sets? Oh yeah. Uh, when We haven't seen what any of those are going to look like though. No, but like, given the trailer. Given the trailer and well, house. <laughs> also the quality of, the general quality of sets that are based on a movie title, they, they I think go a little bit above and beyond in terms of quality. Um, yeah, Ninjago movie sets are excellent. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm sort of basing that on is the Ninjago movie sets were particularly good. Um, and the, like the, everything about them was good. So I have a feeling the Lego Movie 2 sets will be good. Like I said, I think for Lego Movie 2, cause like they have that one scene where it's his house, but it's a spaceship. Yeah. Like that, they make that a set. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there could be some really cool ones. Love the new space, more room for more Lego. That's right. Oh, David, how do you decide who gets to build the big sets? Such as the docks. Mike, Mike in pr this particular case was like, I get to build it, I get to build it, ah, I want to build it, I want to build it. And we're like, all right, fine, I'm not going to fight you. <laughs> but normally, I but normally you it's. So much. Oh, yeah. Did, it, did we, we split the Ninjago City, right? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, I think we're going to split this one because you guys are going to build like those first. <laughs> That's true. We're going to finish our stuff way before you finish that. Is anyone else missing Toys R Us right now? It's been two months and I'm sort of missing them. Honestly, I haven't been back to them in a while. Um, I remember I called them asking them if they had a specific collectible minifigure. Or it was like, you know, the Toys R Us exclusive pack. Right, right. And I was so miffed because I, I called them and I was like, hey, yes, I called them on the phone and I was like, really? Okay, because you guys are across town and I don't want to drive all the way over there in case you don't have them. She's like, nope, we totally have them. And then I showed up and I was like, hey, do you have this thing? And they were like, no, those all sold out yesterday. And I was like, I just called you to ask if you had it. And she was just like, oh no, you talked to me on the phone. Yeah, I thought you meant something else. And I was like, what are you? I was like, it was, it was like the, it was the four pack of, of collectible Batman figs or something. Yeah. And I was like, you couldn't have mistaken that with anything. It was the weirdest thing. She was like, oh yeah, I know what you meant. Like, oh, like, yeah. Like it wasn't even like her realizing it was a mistake. She's like, oh yeah, I know what you mean. Oh yeah, we don't have those. And I was like, I talked to you. And she was like, yeah, no, those got sold out though. And I was like, I like how, how it was so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you talked to me. I remember. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, I know what you mean now. It, was, it wasn't like a, oh, I thought you were talking about this. It was like, she had figured it out while I was driving yeah, over or something. Yeah. And was like, yeah, no, I get it. But no, we don't have them. I was like, you. But yeah, no, it is, it is too bad that they, that they went under. 
Uh, brick built mechs or brick built dragons. I would go for mechs over dragons, but the Green Ninja Mech Dragon's the best. Um, what's your favorite minifigure from the series? What series? This series? This oh, series, this series? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I like the, uh, I like the, what's her name? Oh my gosh. I just found them the other day, or I just found them. Which one? The red face? Yeah, the red face lady with the white hair. Mifune or something? Hifune? Yeah. Something? Mifune? Tashira Mifune? The... the legendary samurai actor? Harumi. Harumi, Harumi. I thought you said Mifune. I was saying a lot of words. <laughs> Hey Jack, can you please do the classic box throw? Uh, I think you threw a box, didn't you? We'll throw some boxes. We'll throw some boxes at the end. Yeah, we used to throw the box at the beginning of all of our episodes. Oh yeah. And then we stopped. And then we said never again. Uh, how do you think I can get some more subscribers? Because I only have 55 and I do stop motion. Uh, well, stop motion is difficult, just in general as a as, as a sustainable thing, because YouTube's all about get as many videos out as possible. That's kind of how the as algorithm. Long too, yeah, as long as you can get them. And and stop motion is like the most difficult thing to produce uh, quickly, or it's just, you just can't produce it quickly. Um, but no, in general, I don't know. You want more subscribers? Just. Uh, just keep making what you like to make. I think that's what it really should be about, is enjoy what you make, and if you can get subscribers doing it, do it that way. But, um, I don't know. I've never seen, I've never seen your channel. Uh, you guys are in Cali. Yes, we are in Cali. <laughs> oh, I see. I see why you asked that question. Um, the Great Hall. Yeah, we're really looking forward to the Harry Potter sets. Oh, let's just do that at times two. Dang it. Oops. I know, I know. It was an amateur mistake. Amateur hour. And found the series 18 minifigs police officer last weekend. I was absolutely thrilled. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get that one. Um, yeah, not an easy fig. I'm not really a big fan of them making like certain figs super, super difficult to get, but I totally understand why they do it. It's a huge kind of like incentive of, ooh, maybe I'll be the person that finds it, you know? Um, but yeah, in general, it's like, oh great, now the simplest figure out of all the collectible series is just gonna be really, really expensive if you get them after the fact. The audio is off sync, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We yeah. this is our first time back onto uh, the regular streaming. Rick, oh my gosh! And I put this together incorrectly, guys. Amateur hour over here. I was supposed to add this guy. This is some intense music, man. Scots, scots. Lighting ten. Why so quiet? Um. Uh, after the stream, will you look at my stop motion videos? If you send us an email, I will, but I'll forget <laughs> by the time the stream's over. That's just honest. My mind is racing in terms of just like, oh, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this. And then by the end, you're like, oh, I was supposed to look at a video or see a song or something. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. And more blades in the front and more blades in the back. Stormbringer. This is the blade, okay. Glad to see streams, see streams are back. Yeah, they're not gonna be as frequent. I have a feeling that's just gonna be the case, at least uh, in the beginning. They're not gonna be, ooh, wait, oh, it goes the other way, okay. Whoa, that's a really cool, this thing's gonna stand up pretty high. It's actually gonna be a pretty big uh, helicopter. Yes. Yeah, you've been. Look at this thing. It's tall. <laughs> yeah, it's a tall helicopter. And we've got a turkey. Everybody, we've got a turkey. <laughs> and then the turkey 
get. Uh, I'll tell you, that's just the the bait mobile. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Oh, nice. And this is a clever way to make the tail. I didn't even notice this. You guys, fans of... Oh, boy. Why is Mike in the back and not in the front desk? Well, he's building the big... He's building... Uh, he needs a lot of space. He's, he's building that thing. I'm feeling shy today. So he needs more space. Yeah. He has basically two tables worth of Legos to build. You're not being shy? Hi, from Brazil, hello. Do you have Instagram? If so, I need to follow you. We do, and we do. We definitely do. We do need to follow us. That's totally correct. You're correct. You're correct. Uh, hi, from Sweden. Hello, do you have, uh, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Return of the Jedi. I know, that's everyone's favorite. I know, <laughs> I know. So bandwagony. What's, what's your favorite, Mike? Yours is? Yours is uh, the uh, Empire, Strikes Empire Strikes Back. Safe answer. The you what? just said <laughs> you the said what? the other safe answer. Not yeah. Too, uh, I thought New Hope is like the other one. Uh, is, it, is that the safe answer? I don't know. I. Who? What? Do, wait. What's the? What's the? In a, like one, two, and three in terms of most liked original trilogy Star Wars movies. Yeah, I, I, I assumed it went I assumed it went Empire Strikes Back, New Hope, Return of the Jedi. I That's what was, I always thought. I thought it was uh, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, New Hope. Oh, okay. Uh, that's what I, uh, that was the assumption I was working on there. Uh, there's probably there's probably a way to figure this out. Do you check your DMs? Sometimes. We, we, we check our emails and we check uh, honestly, we're really bad with Facebook, and we're even worse with Instagram. <laughs> we're, we're, we're pretty bad. And then, I think, I think we made a Twitter for Brick Vault forever ago, and we just never did anything with it. Um, so if you've ever sent something to us on Twitter, uh, yeah, we've, I've never seen it. That's my bad. Empire is second then. What do you think of uh, oh oh the Just Two Kids Lego YouTuber collection video and why isn't Ramon in it? I don't I don't know if you were were you part of the channel when Just Two Kids made that video? I don't know. You might have been like brand new. Uh, he wasn't in it because I didn't exist. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I he was, wasn't. <laughs> I don't think he was like an employee when that. I was a non-person. <laughs> I don't think he was here. Um, oh, look at this. Look at these frills that's going to be on it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a really cool piece. Yeah. Oh, and it's a bar at the yeah, end. Yeah, it's, it's, really, it's, like, it's just a bar piece, like, basically for... Yeah, that's really cool. Inch. That's new-ish. Yeah. It's got to be new. What's your favorite movie of all time, Jack? Uh, I would say a movie that I like to recommend to people because it's just a lot of fun is Fifth Element. Oh. It's just a fun. It's not the best movie, but no, it's, it's so much. Movie. It's so it's, much fun. It's, yeah. it's like Ruby Run. I love uh, Chris. Chris Tucker's uh, character in that is probably. I miss Chris Tucker. <laughs> I know. Well, like, aren't they going to do another Rush Hour? It's going to be bad, probably. But man, there's, there's always hope. Maybe you know. Maybe it's just like a thing. It'll be good. Chris Tucker, man, that guy is so funny. Yeah, the Ruby Rod sequence. I mean, I like, like him and Jackie Chan in the Rush Hour. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They had really good chemistry, I thought, just like in general. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so good. But I don't know if that. I don't know if Fifth Element's my favorite. It's just a fun one. Who's got a favorite movie? Yeah, I, I don't like that question because now I have to pick. Because <laughs> it's like. It's like, I, I could give you a top 10 from like a specific genre. Yeah, 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 I go, I go super in depth. It's like, I, I don't wanna. Yeah, like I could I could go on for, I think you underestimate the amount of free time I have with movies, or at least used to. 
Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think you... Uh... Not anymore. <laughs> he used to have free time. And it was glorious. Oh, interesting. Okay. You got this little chain. And... What is this all supposed to do? Oh. What other Simpsons set would you want the most? Um, well, they did. Giant donut. The power pump. Ooh, the giant do <laughs> the the donut place. That doesn't have as many scenes. I feel like Moe's Tavern would Moe's be cool, but it wouldn't look oh, as good on the outside. I want a Mr. Burns like office in the power plant. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. The power plant would be a good one. Or Homer's uh, working. Homer's what? Work Homer's uh, working room in the power plant. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. This, this guy has that, that cowl that you like. Yeah, yeah. Two of these guys have muzzle. Them. Yeah. Oh, no. It's the same guy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. These are like the general baddies, I think. Yeah. They probably have names, but they look like the sort this of is muzzle. <laughs> this uh... is muzzle. <laughs> uh, the Lego engineer, I said to you, great videos. Um, the Simpsons Lego School. That would be cool. That, yeah, that's cool. That's the actually, school. Yeah. Comic book that's shop, okay. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many good spots. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because they have the house and the quickie mart. The house the, and the quickie mart, which yeah. which were good choices. Yeah, those are definitely... Those were probably the top two, for yeah. sure. Um, where? Oh, here. Interesting. Whoa. They got really ambitious with the way this thing... Um, Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Whoa. They went for sort of like an Apache helicopter kind of canopy. Oh, wow. Isn't That's that pretty weird? cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool. It's a little bit finicky. Weird, yeah. It's a little finicky. Yeah, cool. <laughs> like requires it gently. Place. Yeah, well, because there's two joints, so yeah, if you, that's if why you pull I was, it back I was down, it'll be a little bit funny. But it looks kind of cool. Krusty Burger could be good. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's the cool thing about the show is every single spot is like so recognizable. That's what, yeah. You have so many. You have so many areas to choose from. Yeah. Righty and nearly there. Just got to get the blades. Oh, very interesting. What? This is this is a different setup. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh wait. I wasn't supposed to push those all the way in. That helicopter is cool, dude, yeah. And I just found out the coolest part about it. Uh, the blades are canted forward, I think permanently, which is a really interesting design choice. Um, okay, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the blades are, oh, dang it, I have to pull it further out. Canted forward the entire time. Come on now. Dang it. Come on now. There we go. Get one in, then the other one will fit. Okay. Dude, check that out. Whoa. That is cool. Whoa. Okay, let's get some of those shots in there. Dude, this helicopter is actually really, really good. Look at this. It cants forward. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. Look, check it. It's, sp it's supposed to cant forward instead, right? My blades are spinning the other way. It's supposed to go that way. Doesn't oh. matter. And then, and then this actually spins really well too. It's just teeth. This kind of reminds that, me. What that back one? Oh my god, it is. It's just like fangs. So weird, but it looks good. Oh, that's like. Look, it's canted forward. Oh, yeah. Right, actually, Very nice. And I like that there's this kind of thing here because you can kind of like oh. 
You can activate it from underneath so you don't have to take your hand off and you can keep spinning the blade. Good call. This is a good, this is a good one. I like this. All right. Spare parts. How much does the firstborn cost? The firstborn costs uh, 60 pounds or 70 euro or $70. Or, you know, 59.99 or 69.99, uh, but yeah. And the part count for that would be 851, which is, it's definitely a positive part to price ratio. One, two, three, four, five, six figs. So that's not too many sets come with more than six figs. So not a bad, not a bad overall look for this. All right, now bag three, we're actually starting the dragon. We're trying. The firstborn, is that the name of the dragon? Sorry if I don't know. Jack, can you ask Mike why he says Ninja Go and not Ninjago? Do you say that? Ninja Go! <laughs> I don't think he's ever said that. <laughs> Pretty sure you just made no, that up. No, I will. From now on, I will. Ninja Go! You made me do it. There you go. No, the, yeah, the you never do. The version. Ninja Go! Make sure Super for power. any reviews you do for it, that's how you... Yeah. I need like a, like a steam track to play off that. Ninja Go! Yeah. Yeah. Since no one's listening to me, I'm going. Okay. Matt Horn, yeah, it's pretty cool. Two days ago, he cool. Watched the Ninjago video again, and you were confused what the cherry piece was for because I realized you built the interior flipped around. Oh, yeah, we get confused all the time on the channel. <laughs> we make mistakes all the time. Hey, Jack and Mike, big fan. Awesome, Garrett. We are doing our first big stream day in a really, really long time. Actually, we never, we never did a build party like that. Yeah, we haven't quite done a build party like this before. I'm inclined to agree with whoever said it in the chat earlier. Said what? Uh, pizza next time. We, that was an ongoing joke that we had because we you had people donating had money. Before we even started. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm saying we should have had it. Like it's just I like, uh, per, I don't know. I have no idea, but. The only problem with that is that you really have to wash your hands yeah, well. It's not. It's yeah. like the worst food to eat around Lego. Generally, I, I wouldn't recommend eating around Lego just as a rule. Just, I don't know. You don't want to get your Lego dirty. But out of all things, it's like pizza is supposed to be eaten with your hand, yeah. and it's pretty darn greasy. The only thing worse than pizza is like chicken wings. But uh, ribs. Ribs. Maybe that's worse. Yeah. Okay. Ribs, chicken wings, <laughs> then pizza. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll do it. We'll do. It. I keep on want. I keep on like wanting to eat healthier, and then it's like, hey, pizza. I'm like, all right, let's do it. I cannot control myself. <laughs> uh, the stream is very enjoyable. Did you mean to do the B? I'm gonna I'm gonna think you did. Because of all the berries. Uh, the stream is enjoyable. Quite. It was very enjoyable. Quite, I would say. Uh -huh. So nice to just relax and watch these streams. I'm glad, yeah. We're, we're not gonna try to do any craziness. Um, we might get a Nerf gun. We have a Nerf gun for the studio right oh. now. And we almost lost all the pieces, I think. Um, yeah, we have like one bullet left. Yeah, that didn't take long. Yeah. I lost one almost immediately. Um, and then, yeah, so I was at Costco the other day and there's just that Nerf gun, machine gun thing there, and I was like, uh, maybe next time. Oh, yes. These bracket pieces are so crucial. Oh my god, my, my wife does something every time I like a drill or Nerf gun. It's like, oh, this one. And it's, it's one of those things where it's like, if you played around with them as a kid, the amount of enjoyment you could get in an afternoon of just getting like two Nerf guns and just like running around a house, just turning it into like forts and barriers. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, okay, this will be fun forever. <laughs> and then you're like an adult, you're like, oh, Nerf gun! I want a Nerf gun! And I was so surprised to see how powerful they are now. Oh, yeah. They're so powerful now. Yeah, I didn't mean to do the B. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that you did. Um, would you guys like Fortnite minifigure series? Um, they're constantly making new skins for Fortnite and I don't really follow the game, so it doesn't really hold any appeal to me, personally. I don't know. I feel like 
that's gonna be hard because all their skins are based on like super licensed things. <laughs> oh, they. I guess maybe they are. But they're, they're constant. I mean, it's like every week, right? They're, they're just Yeah, they're I mean, come on. Can you imagine Lego making out John Wick? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> oh, did they? The guy does like, oh. does like 50 guys a minute in the movie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a legitimate skin. It's like, yeah, Lego, like, let's promote that. I mean, I like that. Yeah. But they have some weird characters. Like, there's the guy with, like, the fishbowl for a head. And you're like, all right, that's silly, but funny. Um, I feel like that's from, uh... uh Oh my god. That oh, is that from something? Is yeah, that... I feel like that's also from something. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe they're all from something. It's a lot of, a lot of it is like pop culture. Like Jack, Mike stuff. does say Ninja Go in every thing. And I will keep doing that. <laughs> or it sound, he says it sounds like it. Deal with it. Yep. You should, you should just from now on just actually embrace that. Just, just like, <laughs> like, Ninja Go. Ninja <laughs> Go. You should, and then you should cut it with like an old. I should record it and like put a music and like have a bit that we can't say. Like, yeah, like, you'd have like a Power Rangers, Power Rangers like rerun intro, like cut, cut everything. Like two seconds cut. <laughs> Ninja go. There you go. Idea for a channel. Brick ball. Action packer. I wonder if Lego oh, will make the characters from the books that aren't used in the movies. Um, they might. But they probably won't. When they, especially when they get licensed stuff, they're gonna, um, they have to pay a certain amount, so they really need to be able to monetize off of the licensed sets that they have. So they usually go for like, all right, what's the best bang for the buck? It's like, why do you only see Wolverine as an X-Men figure <laughs> and like almost no one else? It's because Wolverine sells. Um, Every now and then, like, that's what I liked about their exclusive stuff for, like, for Star Wars and, and things. They would make figures that you wouldn't be able to get any other way. The Comic-Con exclusive, like, they had Phoenix for oh, one yeah. of the Comic-Con exclusives. That was really cool. Um, recently, they've been embracing more of the Marvel and, like, more of those little Marvel show characters. Which is, like, all right. <laughs> uh... Well, Ninja. The for the license, so yeah, but they did the, they did the Deadpool duck, which was interesting. It was kind of random because everyone's like, really, all right. But I like that. I, I prefer like the interesting random as opposed to like, oh, another version of a guy that we have. 10 yeah, versions that's of. definitely definitely the case of that. It's like something new. Is nice hair, this. Ramon. Everyone's loving your hair. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> Want to build something? The ducks, man. Cool. Yeah, it's gonna connect to the city. Yep. Massive wave knockout. Night block. Hey, Brick Vault, what are you building right now? Currently, I'm on the uh, Firstborn. You're on Stormbringer. You're almost Stormbringer. done. Stormbringer, yeah. Look at, look at that yeah, boy. Look at cool. One's almost done. One's almost done with Stormbringer. Uh, and then Mike bit off the big chunk. He's doing the docks. So that's going to take a while. Yeah, he will never uh, finish. <laughs> are those black tables IKEA tables? Yes, they are. They're actually left over from the guys. Yeah, we didn't get them. We didn't yeah. buy them, but they work, and we're thinking about getting a couple more to kind of match up um, a little they're bit more. They're really the nice. They're yeah, fine. It's, I kind of like they're matted. Yeah. The other ones had a little bit more. The white, I think, was probably, to be fair, white was probably the same sheen, but. No, I feel like I feel like this is a little bit more matte. Yeah. Maybe because we scrubbed them down <laughs> and we like took the sheen actually, off. Maybe, yeah. We might have scrubbed a little bit of them off, but I think that works better because the Lego is shiny, and if you've got like a matte kind of like less shiny uh, color to contrast, then it's gonna work a little bit better. So yeah, they are, and we're liking them so far. I'm seeing the black pieces just fine. I thought that oh, might yeah, be no, a, it's not an issue at all. a problem, but I don't think it is. Um, 
Loving the hair. Oh, they're loving your hair. Do you like Bob's Burgers? You know what? I should watch it because everybody it's seems show. to love it. It's really good. Like, it's just a consistently well-liked show across all platforms, so I should watch it, but I haven't gotten around to it. I, I started by watching it's, uh, uh, Archer. Is like Matt Groening's show? It, it feels it? like it could be. The animated Matt... Yeah. Is it Matt Groening? Do you know him? Yeah. Yeah. Matt Groening? I remember. Yeah, the Simpsons guy. The Simpsons creep. Did they call him that because he just groans all the time? Peeps, thank you, love you guys, awesome man. Dude, I like I like that now that they've made teal, they brought old teal back that they're just putting it into random pieces. Literally now. everything. I love yeah, it. yeah. I, love that. I noticed you have like look at that thing. Your thing is just filled with like random pieces all the inside. That's yeah. just gonna get covered. And it's cool because I think Lego's got a very good way of. Um, Kind of distributing parts around in certain colors, like oh, oh you know what? We can apparently, have... this is the dragon. And this is his saddle. Why does this look funny? Oh, because I totally skipped this step. Why do I do that? He's got a saddle. Yeah. Well, what's with all the colors? That yeah, we were just talking about that. The colors like. It's everywhere, really. It's just like um, we haven't made it. We haven't made this in this color yet. Let's do it. Or, or it enough. could be they made a bunch of it for another set from they another theme. A whole bunch of then, yeah. Do the logistics yeah. planning yeah. behind that for like what kind of colors to make certain pieces must be an incredibly or like how they involved have to job. Like what's profitable. Yeah, totally. And, like, in terms of, like, production. Yeah. Can you guys imagine how complex like planning the production It's dude, is? whoever's in charge of that of has parts to... parts and plan in like, you know, useful colors. First of all, it's like a giant committee of people that do it. I mean, it's like, there's probably so many people that are handling all the different facets of that, but there's one person at the top of that that's like in charge of overseeing that. It's gotta be insane. hey oh, We just got a super chat from Esther Bricks. One ninety nine, two dollars Thank you. Ask Mike. If he will dance, no, no. is your dancing worth two dollars, Mike? That's <laughs> put a price. You know, he was, he was just low. telling me. He was just telling me that he was on the uh, Junior Olympics dance team for polka. <laughs> so, what? yeah, he's a he's actual. He's a semi-professional polka polka dancer. What, what do you Mike call is, that? Polkist. Even he's a he's a semi-professional polkist. <laughs> Two things. Do you even dance to polka? And <laughs> this weird assumption that poles are connected to polka is so. Have you seen that? I was about to say done this, <laughs> but it's it's so dumb. Where, where where does polka music come from? It does originate from Eastern Europe. Yeah. But we as poles don't know a thing about it most of the time. But that's that's how the rest of the rest of the world's like, oh, there's a thing from that region. Yeah, you're all part of it now. Uh, <laughs> that's just like how people think. Yeah, that's an American thing. <laughs> it's it's not. It's Porca, it's Porca very much just a oh, people yeah, thing. Porca is one of the folk music types. Yeah. But it's very um, secluded, like very rural areas in Poland. Like, like where? Like really, like, if, you, if, you, if you think like cities and like really deep countryside. See, but but still part of Poland then. Look at oh, you finished. But also, it, it's it's known in Czech Republic as their dance or music. Oh. It's known in Slovakia too. No. Uh -huh. Get up. It's very. You know, Look at Stormbringer. Look at this thing. This thing looks <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's it's way better than before. Yeah, I've, I've looked at the older ones. Oh yeah, yeah, and it has a super whippy tail. These horns are really good. Um, the head is just the main thing that always drags this. me away was the head for I think the it looks older builds. No, it looks really good. Like you have like you know all these like extra horn pieces like everywhere, right, different colors and kinds. Have you seen the video of those guys that are dancing to what looks like? There it goes. Did yeah. they even see it shoot? I did. I was pointing oh, yeah. at the camera. <laughs> um, there's a video of those guys dancing to this weird, uh, like kind of grungy metal stuff, and they're dressed like, like uber goths. Like it's hard to, it's like I don't even know how I don't even know how to describe them. These, it's like these German industrial gothic 
kids that have like these really intense clothing. Um, and they're doing this crazy weird dance thing with all like their hands and they, I don't yeah. know. It's like this whole style. And then somebody cut that video to polka music and it is the funniest thing you'll ever watch because it's like perfectly within the beat of polka music. <laughs> uh, good times. Hello, Lego Lover. Hello. What is your, what is the best TIE Fighter set? It's the most recent one. It just looks better than the rest of them. That's, Lego is getting better at putting sets together, period. Like they just are. Um, so, yeah, I would say the most recent one. Jack, did your heart drop at the old place when Master Brothers came over and the plane and <laughs> I was embarrassed because I was the one that knocked it over. <laughs> can, you, can you switch the music for a second? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right, guys, quick update because this is really awesome. Uh, I just want to highlight the, the, the technique for building those logs on the, on the walkway by the ocean or like by the, by the harbor. This, don't go like each one of them is like a light table part with technique inside and the bar is connected to a uh, start on the side put one that can break. So that is really darn awesome. I love it. Took a while but check it out. Really good looking. Alright, back to you Jack. Huzzah! Ha! Ha! Are you doing any more live mock builds? We will from time to time. Um, you know what we might live build is the, we're gonna be rebuilding some of the stuff, some of the big stuff that we brought uh, over got broken down, not like, nothing really dropped. Mike dropped a couple of boxes with some of the buildings. Um, but none of the really big mocks broke uh, in any significant ways, but we do have to rebuild stuff. Like the moment we rolled the ghost, away from Lego Star Wars days, all the side panels kind of broke uh, around. So we'll have some rebuild days. We'll bring the ghost back out. There's some stuff that kind of broke off the sand crawler. It's funny because we, we reshot, or we didn't reshoot, we shot the sand crawler footage before we moved. Um, and then it broke in the move. Not too bad, but it's definitely broken down a bit. Um, so the sand crawler that you saw yesterday is like, or that you saw today come Down out in the, the video? Floor. Uh, if you switch to this camera, I can show them how the room looks like. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. I think the lights are on the other side of the... Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, not yet, not yet. Yeah, let, him, let, him get, let him get set up. He'll get... He'll get yeah, the lights set. are on the other side. Yeah. So yeah, this is Stormbringer. Let's all say I'm moving everything over now. Yeah, yeah, I you can move I'll it all over and then... Yeah, I'll keep it done kind of like... Yeah, as long as we know, right. I mean, we'll know what minifigs to yeah, put in which places. Ready? Tell me when. Now? Yeah. Okay, you're on. Oh, yeah, it'll be, okay, turn the mic up. My, there's only one mic and it's above me, uh, so you won't be able to hear Mike. Um, I know, I'm gonna have to look at your video and then comment on what you're putting up. Okay, so what Mike is showing you is Everything in transition. Most of this stuff was displayed. Some of it was actually kind of put into back shelves and stuff. So there might be sets that you haven't seen if you're a regular watcher of our other streams. Minifigs. Those are some minifigs. They're also underneath the tables that you can't quite see there. Yeah. Yeah, we got some other stuff under there. Um, yeah, so that's the majority of it. Now, if you turn, when you yeah. see them turn, Lots of our big stuff is here in the corner. The mocks, you can see the sand crawler is still wrapped up in plastic. The ghost is behind it. The Star Destroyer. Uh, actually, that's how you take it apart. Yeah, Honestly, really, that's what you that, need to that's do. That's really taking it. Like, What's up? You ran out of cable. Mike's out of cable, so he can't walk further into that room right now. Um, and then tons oh, yeah, of stuff. Oh, yeah, we still have stuff in yeah, crates and boxes. Tons of stuff. Look. Yeah, that's most of that. All of that's unbuilt, I think. Yeah, those are all boxes that are full. Like, they're completely unopened. Yep. So, yeah, we're going to get a painting crew in here. Show them, show them the thing on the wall. Show them the wall. Go higher up. High up. Yeah. So, yeah, this used to be... A, well, it used to do other things. Uh, I think it was a vape shop before. So, 
regardless, we've, we've already taken some of the other decals off and we're gonna have some people come in and make this place look spick and span. Uh, we had some people patching up holes yesterday and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that's everything. That's everything in the studio. And that's me. And that's me. And you heard me. I was narrating that that whole time. Whoa. Okay. You want me to change it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, which one? Uh, what, what, I, what do you want to do? I'm thinking. We both got to go, so. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Let's go. Let's go with the third. third. And I'll let someone else have fun with the Mad Max movie. Oh, yeah. If, if you really want, I'll, I'll take care of that one. Bam. I'm getting pretty... Mm, I'm only like halfway with this one. So I still got some time. In fact, actually, after I finish this one, I might go in. Yeah, I might do some reviews. I might, yeah. Just thought about that. What's the name of this one? With some Stormbreaker's mouth upside down. They said Stormbringer's mouth is on upside down. Is it? No, Maybe it the is. little chin piece? Yeah. I do. Tongue. Dude, it's the best when you build with uh, when you build with other people. Um, oh wait, hold on. I'm skipping ahead again. It's the best when you build with other people on the stream because they, they like tell you every time you like mess up. It's yeah. really, really helpful. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I was wondering. Like I, I didn't even like look at it, but yeah, that's his little chin piece, his little tongue. What's the name of this set? Yes, please. <laughs> you want to get something to eat? Sure. Jack. What's up? What's the name of this set? Oh, what's the number? Na uh, yeah, five five. Five five is the dragon pit. Okay. Uh, guys, what's up? Awesome. My daughter wants some Chinese. Oh yeah. So I can go to Panda Express. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kung Pao chicken. Give me some cash because I think I don't have any. Uh, I think I'm completely out of cash. I've been using my credit card. Um, uh, actually, I have a credit card. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a credit card. Uh, can Venmo you? Can Venmo you? Can Venmo you? Yeah, but you guys want some fun now? Yeah. I'll take like a, I'll take like a, a thing of like pork fried rice or something. What? Um, they had like I do. Like one or two or three. I did a bad thing. Oh, you I have, but uh, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. So yeah. like a buffet. Yeah. So we have like kung pao and kung pao. And chicken. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying no offense. The dragon pit. What's your favorite thing about building Legos? Uh. I just like being able to kind of okay, zone sense. into zone into just. I mean, right now this is kind of a fun hangout, but a lot of Lego is just kind of on your own. I get kind of manic when I get really into it. Oh, I'm yeah, constantly yeah. moving around. Like I never stop. Like sometimes I get like it's like my body tells me to pass away, <laughs> like pass out because I'm hungry. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is this weird kind of like you get you get really. There's a lot of movement, I think, when you're when when you're custom building. I don't know about the like sets is is just kind of fun yeah. and relaxing. But when I think of building Lego, I think of custom building Lego. Like I don't think you're gonna be up and out and like constantly constantly moving around. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I like doing that a lot. Oh, that's why. Okay, I put that great piece on out of order. I was out of order. Um, Matt, which are you going to get first? Dude, everyone is all about Lego Harry Potter. That's really funny. Like, I, I think it's gonna be really tough to get those sets. It was yeah, it was, it was funny talking with uh, Charlie. Was like, oh man, I can't believe they're doing Harry Potter again. I guess it's still popular. I don't know. <laughs> like that's weird. It's like I didn't think people were still into it. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People, I mean, Harry Potter is one of those things. It's gonna, it's lasting a while. Oh yeah, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So you are bringing, you're building the dragon. How many? I'm asking you how many parts. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. One thousand six hundred twenty-four pieces. A lot. Is this is, uh, is this one more pieces than that one? The uh, Bombeo? Yeah, that's the that's, that's the, the biggest, biggest one. one. Yeah, that okay. Is. The diesel diesel knot is one thousand one hundred forty-five. 
It's decently big. The diesel knot. <laughs> yeah, the diesel knot. They're like, we can't say dreadnought. Okay, fine. Uh, Technic and Sweet Champions for the win. I think Sweet Champions has been one of the, has been consistently improving itself ever since its uh, creation. They've been getting better and better. Um, there's certain themes that don't, it's not really their prerogative to try to improve their building stuff. Like city is kind of, uh, there's different city stuff that comes out, but the quality remains about level. Mm -hmm. um, but then when you get to certain themes, you just, I feel like I'm constantly seeing stuff that's like, that's so much better than they've ever done before. Oh, that's really I, yeah, exciting I feel like with the Ninjago theme too, it's one of those things where it's like literally every season or like new wave of stuff, it's like they have, they just improve. It's like, yeah. well, this is our chance to now do it. Like, yeah, yeah every now and then they do try. I, what, what I do miss about early Ninjago is they did try out different play techniques for like one set and then maybe that oh, okay, set didn't yeah. work and then they don't and then you don't see that technique used again like i remember there's a few action techniques like folding open missile launchers or something like that uh, every now and then you'll see something in an old ninjago set and be like oh that's cool i haven't seen them do that before um and it's because they tried it once and maybe that set didn't yeah it didn't it did, yeah and no i can see that and who knows maybe it was attributed to the play oh yeah there. look at this book <laughs> yep you got a novel sir oh god Ramon, throw the box before it's too late. You have to throw the box, Ramon. <laughs> no, it's fine. Nothing happened. Okay. I know how to aim. <laughs> Mike has thrown the box directly at my head when I was editing one. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I was like, I was editing, and it's this perfect back of the head. I was like, what are you doing? It just curved your head. Uh-huh. I, I rewatched the footage and he was. Yeah, no, exactly. You, you find, you find that morning where you see him lock eyes yeah. onto the target. Yep. There was, <laughs> and then it was like. <laughs> <laughs> there's that Kill Bill sound. Whatever it is. Uh, should I get both Hogwarts sets or the Great Hall and the train? Ooh, the train Dude, like, is pretty. This is uh, one time where I'm so happy. Not one time, but this is. It a good example of being like, wow, I'm really glad that we've got a, a YouTube channel based on building Lego, because I don't want to have to choose between yeah, Harry Potter. Now you're going to have to. <laughs> We're getting all. Oh. And. Yes. Hey, throws the box. Woo, beautiful throw. You think Lego will make Transformers? Uh, mm, no. <laughs> people, people make really good Transformer mocks, honestly. I think um, that's where it's best. Honestly. Yeah. People make some really good ones. It's hard to do a good looking Transformer yeah. and have it be structurally sound like Lego wants. Um, it would be interesting if Lego produced a theme that didn't have that because they've got a pretty strict structural uh, integrity rule, which makes sense. You know, they want it to work as a toy and have it not be delicate and people right. can kind of pick up and it's a look at. It's a toy that at the end of the day they want it to be able to play with. Like, oh yeah, and I mean that's been the rule forever, exactly. and it's a really good and it's a really good mantra to to go by. But <laughs> it would be cool if there was a theme that was dedicated to just hyper accuracy where they. Not necessarily yeah, re no, re I, models. Yeah, because th 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 that's the whole idea of like you know that's what, a, a toy versus like a model, and it's like you know yeah. they can delve into that. That would thing. be cool. I, th I think it'd be a fun. Well, one. it's even like even like look like the brickheads aren't something people play with. I would think that's more of a kind of just like a display, a fun yeah, little display thing. Exactly. Yeah, so they it's are. like that's the same kind of concept where you get like a hyper realistic thing. Maybe it's delicate. Yeah. But, you know. Totally. Jack, who's the new guy? I don't know. We just found him. We just, I walked in today. He was walking by and I was like, hey man, we need someone to help build Lego. You want to yeah, them? they showed me all the boxes they had. I was to buy some vape and just This is where I get the vape, bro. Um. <laughs> the joke is that there's still like the previous vaping company like logos and graphics. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Yep. Yeah, it is a little you bit. You can't go to the bathroom without seeing it. It's, uh, it's, it's on the storefront. 
Okay, interesting. Yeah, I need to take that down. <laughs> I know, I know. We well, we got the ladder. So. That's why it's like I can finally do it. Do you think Lego will make more Indiana Jones sets? I hope. There, there is the new Indiana Jones movie coming out eventually. Huh? Yeah, I think That's it's scheduled. Thing? Yeah, unfortunately, oh, no. I know, yeah, I know. I'm scared. Uh, so they did it. They did it for Jurassic World. They only did one new Jurassic Park set, which was kind of, it was fun. I liked getting it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm okay with them kind of resurging on like older, you know, like themes or movies and just like making like cool sets based on them. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's always like. Well, even, when they even, did, like, I was excited when you showed me the Jurassic Park one that yeah. was in the Jurassic World sets. I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, and the old Gen Indiana Jones sets are really cool. Yeah, yeah. They, because they already did a bunch of them, I'm not sure if they're going to do yeah, more, but I hope they do more. I could definitely think of a few more scenes. You do the, uh, I really like the ones with the, the German planes and he's, and he's got the umbrella, his, his dad, his uh, Sean Connery's got the umbrella and he's like, okay, okay. and he yeah, like yeah, gets yeah. all the, the, the birds to take off. Yeah, it's really funny. Okay, here we go. There we go. Interesting. Oh, cool. This would be like the flapping wings. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome because that's the only dragon with wings. <laughs> true. This Everything true. else has them. Almost done with this one. Where's the UCS Lego Godzilla at? Godzilla Man 2000? We should make one. <laughs> that is a good idea. That'd be cool. It would be. We should definitely do that. That should be awesome. I, I got a um, fun little build uh, LDD of, uh, of a micro city where there's, there's a guy in a, in a monkey costume and a guy, there's a minifigure in like a gorilla, in like a Godzilla costume basically. Mm -hmm. And then they scaled like a little mini city, oh, of like God. the minifigure is fighting I think around I it. Saw, I think I saw your uh, list for that or something. I was like, oh, I was did like you? messing with a bunch of stuff and I was like, I saw Godzilla versus King Kong and I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I, was like, I gotta look at that later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We found that most of the parts don't work, so we could, right. we'd have to go in and just kind of change it around a bit. But um, I totally. Oh, I'm smart. Okay, let's change this. Oopsies. Jack, do you know if Lego will do more Pixar movie Lego sets, like Coco or like Coco or Good Dinosaur? I got no idea. I don't have like insider information. Um, he does. He's just lying. I don't. He's not allowed to tell you guys. <laughs> I, I really don't. I don't know anything that like. He likes to play on. this card. You know, he doesn't want to seem all high end. My. It's actually a pretty solid little chunk here. You could really. I love how colorful it is. It's like even then, like you could still see everything inside. Yeah, totally. And I already, I know exactly where. I left out this teal piece, but it's just like a negative space of whatever. Oh, like yeah. it, it's not even necessary. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna hold on to yeah, that. Oh yeah, I was looking at like like aren't these like similar to the colors you were looking for almost uh, for the uh, or is this too dark? It's too dark. Too dark. Okay. Too dark. That's sand green. Okay. Actually, no, 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 no. It isn't too dark. No, I like this. Oh sand yeah. Green. So this this set for the dragon itself has a bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. But the 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 ones that I like. From the Statue of Liberty, they've got the curved little bit in there, and that'll be good for like the nose. Oh, right, right. Yeah. That'd be the best one. Jack, how long do the batteries last on the boost system? Uh, I don't know if I ever had to. I can't remember if I had to change mine out, but I did all the different functions at least a few times for all five of the different boost builds, uh, which took a long time. Um, and then I don't think they went out. So, I think for a while. He's got the Lego in information in his van. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, do you like the architecture series? I would love to make one of the buildings I got married in. The ICC Hong Kong. That'd be a cool thing. A big event you had in there. Oh yeah, there's like, there are commission builders out there that do right, that kind I mean, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. We do every now and then somebody will 
like they just assume we do commission builds and they're like, I would like this and I will pay you this. And I was like, we don't do that. Um, but there are definitely, there's, there's some good builders. There's a lot of good builders out here in Southern California. Probably more here than in a good portion of the world. Right. And uh, Remember to follow the rules in the description. Ramon, my hair looks the same. Hey. Yay. You, <laughs> you're not alone in the world now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I was the last of my kind. <laughs> uh, Jack, I don't know how much, but they pay. Um, does Twitch pay us? No, I mean, there's Twitch. subscription stuff where if somebody tries to subscribe or wants to subscribe on <laughs> Amazon Prime, <coughs> cough, cough, free money, uh, uh, you can do that, and they take a cut, we get a cut, and that's how subscription services for all Twitch people work. And then if you're like really big on Twitch, you can get sort of a better cut of the subscription fees. But no, Twitch does not just pay us. It's, there isn't like general ad revenue like um, YouTube has. And even then, it's not YouTube. Well, it is YouTube paying us, but it's it's the advertisers paying YouTube and then YouTube. You know, because every video monetizes a little bit differently depending on who decides to run, who decides to run ads. So kind of should we start using my uh, Amazon uh, Twitch subscription just on us? Totally, you totally should. <laughs> that extra 250 a yeah. month. <laughs> but those guys that get really big on Twitch though, that that is pretty intense. Ooh, I've never seen this part in dark red before. And now I can't find the second yeah, one. It's like you got real excited for it, and now it's like you're... Is it, like, oh, here it is. They never do this piece oh, in dark wow. red. They never, ever do this piece in dark red. Um, you could come to Idaho, that's where I live. Mm. The name for Avengers 4 is Avengers Final Hour. Whoa. Whoa. Is it? They might have. They might have announced a title. Okay. I don't know. It's possible. I get. I get my news all the time from the streams because people will, will be on the news. Oh at the exact right. Same yeah. Time. They'll see it coming. Did you hear about this thing? I. It literally just happened. No. <laughs> no, I've been here the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check out the Lego Card Blog. Did you get a free Twitch subscription if you have Twitch Prime? You've got Amazon Prime. Yeah, you get, you get a free Amazon Twitch. Prime, you get your free. It's it's through no, Amazon. No, no, Twitch Prime. It's called Twitch Prime. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. What's the difference? One way to, to have it is to, to Amazon, but I think people can also subscribe as Twitch Prime. Oh yeah, you can subs, but you have to pay. It's the Amazon is the free version, right? Yeah, Amazon. When you have Amazon Prime, you just get a free yeah like, uh, subscription basically once a month yeah and then twitch will pay that person through exactly. the subscription and you don't pay it it's still a subscription it's just through like them and i know there's other i think there's other kind of services that do the same thing yeah very cool way actually jack why do you take the live streams off of youtube after they stream like ninjago city um you know we we started doing that just because it was we didn't we were we were streaming so much because we used to stream like five days a week. <laughs> I see what you Did that even fly? Oh, I see what it's supposed to do. Yeah. I see the theory in it. Let's see if it works. I'm curious. I mean, just... Well, it, I couldn't see it. I wasn't sure if it just flopped. All right, you guys see, you can just uh, barely yeah, see get, my- Get it, get it, like, yeah, there you go. Weak. You need more power. It, it, it held its own for like a sec. I was looking in the screen and not looking at Mike do it. I don't know why. And then there was a delay. Uh, try to hit the head. You can only hit me in the head if you're not trying to hit me in the head. Oh, that was good. It flew. You might you might have even heard it in the mic. It went like right over. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I think that was definitely a good shot. How do you subscribe with the Amazon Prime one? I am not sure. You connect your Amazon Prime. Oh, to we Twitch. got six bits from Technic for life. Twenty-two minutes ago, that's my bad. Thank you for the twenty-two bits. 
Dun, dun, yeah, no, dun, it's like dun, super dun, easy. Dun. You just connect it. It's like on Switch. You connect your Amazon account to it or whatever. Yeah. No, and then a, it gives you a free thing. Yeah, it's nice. You guys, you guys are super cool. I love Lego and have probably been building them for half of my life. LOL, keep up the cool work. Thanks, Judo. How do you say it like that? Because he, he spelled Kewl, K-E-W-L. Oh. <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> 20 things broke when he flew that. It sounded like 20 things broke. There aren't... No, there are 20 things to break in the office now, but... Yeah. Um, okay, that's coming in here. This is the, I think this is the chest. Yeah, it is. Okay. I have the Lego Land Speeder. Fly, fly, Jack. If you do not mind, could you put the Ninjago City stream back on YouTube because I missed it. The Ninjago City stream? I don't think that exists anymore because Twitch holds on to the streams for like two months. No, it was still going to be up on YouTube. Oh, was it, was it up yeah, on our YouTube? Yeah, it was. Yeah. We might have just privatized it. Yeah, maybe. No, we have all the streams on YouTube. They're just not unlisted. Oh, they're unlisted. I can send you a link to it. <laughs> you can put it as unlisted and that way like somebody yeah, can yeah, watch you it can and actually you can't give search it. To it. Someone. Yeah. yeah. Send well, me an happening. email. I'm not gonna, what, like once again, somebody asked me for to see their channel. I don't remember. I need an email. <gasps> oh. Constant reminders. See, this is the thing that I want for Akira's bike. Yeah. Oh, wait, I thought we got them. We do have them. We do oh, have them. okay. But I never feel. Wow, yeah, they just came in that. That's funny. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure I took something apart to get to get the other build. We did, the race cars. Yep. No. I think it's somebody. What do you guys told me? It should be all the way in, in the corner, the all the way back in the corner. So, yeah, I think that's the leasing office. Her, her, she's right next to us. She's literally right next to us. And then it's of the building? No, 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 no. The leasing office. The leasing like, office is another yeah. office on the corner. You'll be able to see the dumpsters okay. and the cars parked right there. I think, I think, I think. I've never been there. I, I just walked, I was looking to see if it said leasing office when I walked by and I saw one thing and I just said building. Yeah, no, I tried like actually, I was like walking around out there uh, a, a day ago or something and I was like, I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. This doesn't exist. Ooh. When's the last time we've gotten these pieces in red? Never. No, not never, <laughs> but never. That's when never. Um, what's your email? I think it's in the description below. Is it? Should be. I'm not going to say it because then we're going to get spammed. But you can search it yourself. But they can just, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, there's a big difference between saying yeah, it yes. and then, and then and then people just searching it. I remember I, I, yeah, I, I put like, that up on the stream made, once. Like, an Instagram account for email. <laughs> like, uh, something, and I have to, like... Oh, yeah. I have to ban it. <laughs> yep. That's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, I think we're here. Oh, nice. Dude, this is actually really cool. I like the way this works. <laughs> it reminded me of that men's warehouse commercial. <laughs> I guarantee it. No, you're gonna like the way it looks. I like the way this works. I guarantee it. Uh, SpaghettiOs, hey Lego guys, I fixed the Lake, my Lego City. You fixed it? Did you break it? How'd you break it? We need to fix ours. Oh. Here we go. Check it. Check it, check it, check it. And here. And here. So many. I'm definitely halfway. Such an interesting looking build. Okay. Bam. 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 How do you do a super chat? Um, I think you, there's, it should have a, a 
dollar sign symbol um, under, like in in the in the window below somewhere. That is the super chat. What's the first Lego set you built on the channel? The one that I first built on the channel, I think, was the Technic Crawler Crane, which was a pretty difficult one, honestly. It was not not easy to put together. Not by a long shot. I built one half of a giant motor and then another half of a giant motor and tried to stick them together, and they did not fit. <laughs> that, that was just like, oh, no. I was like, hey, I haven't built anything in a while. Let me just... Uh, do te and I never build Technic. Yeah. So, so that just threw you off your game. Threw me off. Threw me off my groove, man. Off my groove. Oh yeah, you asked me my favorite movie of all time. Maybe Emperor's New Groove is up there. Such a good one. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a lot of uh, Disney movies. Love them. Dude. David Spade, like, people give Robin Williams, like, all the credit for that that is Jack's newest mock. It's my newest mock. He was working on this whole I mock. built this out of Lego. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very creative build he's working on, you know. It's just... Yeah. I managed to figure out a building technique to make real plush yeah. out of just regular building bricks. It's not a legal technique, but it works. Um, but you know how like Robin Williams is celebrated as like the ultimate sort of like off the cuff kind of guy? Oh yeah, okay. I Spade. It. Dude, David Spade in in, uh, in Emperor's New Group oh, is so that. funny. It's and it's all just him just riffing. I, I love the uh, no, I, I love that movie. God, by far. Like, like, I always I love seeing the stuff online with like you know I think the Wreck It Ralph trailer came yeah. out. And people were like, you know, it was like all the Disney princesses. It was like, excuse me, where's Cusco? <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> that was such a good one, though. What is your most favorite Transformer? Um, I don't know. I'm not that good with the... Uh, the tr I liked Beast Wars, is what I'm trying to say. Beast Wars was <laughs> where it was at. Beast Wars was way... Was was my I, I thing. never got into Beast Wars. I never got into Beast Wars, man. No, Beast Wars is where it's at. I like the. Uh, I think when I used to watch it, I, used to, I like Hot Shot. His name, I think. Which one was he? Yeah, he it, it was just like he was like the race car from. He was like in like that Armada and like oh. all those that 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 those three newer shows like Armada, Energon, and oh Cyber Beast Missions, something. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I never basically after Beast Wars ended. Yeah, you just stopped. I stopped. Yeah. I stopped with the whole thing. I was like, I've moved on with my life. I was still a child. Yeah. I had my life ahead of me. Oh my <laughs> gosh, they've done it. Oh yeah, no, I had one. They've done yeah. it. What is it. They've done it. They've done it. Oh yeah, that's the piece. Oh, oh, they've saw, done it. This is the first I've seen it. First I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, I had. Did you have one too? Because I had Dave, one. Okay, I'm, I'm I saw a bit of one. There you go. Come on. Come on. Hey, your backhand is too far. No. Yeah. There you go. All right. So one by one, what's that? This happened. This is what I get excited for. It's like there's cool new molds for minifigs and there's cool new colors for this and that. But when there's a new useful system piece that gets oh, put in, I'm just like, yeah. Piece. Yeah, 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 the fat guy that the, the was here, he's got that one. With the chubby, he's got the same one. Yeah. Wow. Oh, actually, oh yeah, I'm building the same guy. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and they are impossible, thank you. I'll be back in a minute. Have you ever tried playing a Lego game and completing it? I played some of the Star Wars games, and then I tried playing games after that, and I just never got into them. It's kind of nice and relaxing to have sort of the the, you know, you, you, you can die infinite times and yeah. you just kind of it, leisurely nice go through. Game. It's really it's casual, game. but I never got into it after the Star Wars ones because the, the, 
the gameplay always felt kind of the same, you know? It's like, oh, you're just kind of doing the same. I had played the Star Wars ones a lot when I was a kid, and then recently my brother, say recently, probably a year ago, whenever that Marvel, like, it was just like the Marvel superheroes, like Legos, like all of Marvel, that was a fun game, and it was a Lego game that I, and I hadn't played Lego in a while, and I'm just like, oh, this is great. I could just, like, be any hero or villain I want and have a Lego New York. <laughs> like, of course, give me it. One G, I'm going to buy 1,000 of those on Bricklink. Yeah, those are going to be really, really expensive on Bricklink. Yeah. Wait, just wait for them to come out in a few more sets. You do buy them right now. Okay. Guaranteed that little one by one, uh, what bracket? What are they called? Yeah, it's a bracket. Um, that's going to be that's going to be bank. I remember I was talking with with uh, Jalen, and he was. Because I was asking, I was like, how did you get all those white tri triangular tiles? Brand new tile pieces that nobody has. <gasps> oh, it's printed. Oh, dope. That's yeah, cool. no. Uh, the, the eye, actually, yeah, look at this one too. It's the eye's printed. The eye's on this guy. It's like coming a little bit. Oh, that one's actually cut. Yeah. Nice. I like that. That's super cool. Because I was looking, I was like, I don't have a sticker for this. Do they? Stormbringer also has the same thing. It's like it's really nice. It's cool. Really I, like nice. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Less stickers, more prints. I was listening to prints on the radio this morning. Don't be proud. It was good. It was good. I'm the boss of the last. <laughs> did you ever play Lego Island? No, but everybody. I like, did. Everybody that, loves that one. I love it. Yes, yeah, I used to play I that. Did. As a, I used to play that as a kid. Everyone and goes Lego Island. That was where it was. Lego at. Island. I never was played it. So good. Never played it. You missed out on a big part of your childhood. I, I think so. That's what everyone keeps telling me. I think I, I had to try to play it like a couple years ago. It's doesn't old, hold. Doesn't hold up the same it's way. It's very old. Yeah. I well, used... I, it seems huge. It seems like a humongous game because they give you literally it's like an island. Yeah. And it seems huge. And then I got back to it, like, oh wow, this is a very small map. This is uh, <laughs> yep. very tight. Very tightly knit. Bam, bam. Okay, let's do this. And all right, guys, I'm gonna go get some food. Okay. All right. You want some extras? If you're getting panda, yeah, yeah. I will eat a panda. What do you want, Jack? You want a mix of different things? Uh, uh, yes. What do you want? Kung Pao. Kung Pao. Kung Pao. Enter the Fist. My favorite movie of all time. Favorite movie. It's such a good one. There you go, yeah, you found your favorite. You found it, guys. <laughs> Kung Pao into the fist. That's where it is. Um, the, 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 the Kung Pao and Shanghai beef? I think I remember. I think I remember. Wow, I know what they serve at Panda Express. I have no name. idea what they serve. I haven't been to a Panda Express in like years. It's because you're a normal human. Just bring it up for you. Oh, you're going to bring it up? Okay. Are you in Bakersfield? Oh, thank God I'm not. <laughs> My roommate's from Bakersfield and all I do is make fun of Bakersfield in front of him. It's like the most stereotypically boring place on the planet, at least in California. Everyone goes, oh, you're from Bakersfield? Oh no. <laughs> Sorry if you're from Bakersfield, but it's He didn't true. mean it then. No, I make fun of my roommate all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no man. Corn came from Bakersfield. It's like, that's right, not a brand. Oh, okay, yes, food. Orange chicken. I'll take the orange Some chicken and the Kung Pao chicken. Extra, so okay, sure. <laughs> okay, so just say the regular ones. Okay, orange chicken, uh, green bean chicken breast, uh, sweet fire chicken, Kung Pao chicken. I'm doing orange and Kung Pao. Mushroom chicken. Yeah. Black pepper chicken. Ooh, ooh. And, and they did it in light gray, the same one by one. Teriyaki chicken, broccoli beef, Shanghai Angus steak. That's, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm a huge fan of yours. If you wouldn't mind, I would love it if you checked out my channel. I'm new and don't have much, but I would love it if you got so much attention. Send me an email, because I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> I'll take teriyaki and sweet and sour. Teriyaki and sweet and sour. Yeah. He said, Do you want fried rice or noodles? Fried. Fried, fried rice. rice, yeah. Fried, fried rice noodles. 
spray. Dang, yeah. Oh, we're getting orders. Food. Food. Ooh, hello. Come on, yeah. Interesting. Check. Plus, Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Kung Pao into the fist. Kung Pao. Uh, and orange chicken. Kung Pao, orange chicken. Fried rice. Fried rice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I thought she wanted Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this because of you. here in case you need our advice yeah yeah uh, do you like the Republic or Confederacy more Republic Republic is that a question yeah is, yeah who likes the Confederacy <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing you don't like the Confederacy do you he must like it he <laughs> sent you an email okay send you an email is there not an email linked in the description we might have changed our default description for this video, for the stream stuff. I have to recheck, but I'm pretty sure there should be one. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Finally. Can I just finish the head? I'm so close. Okay. And what's that girly noise in the background? Is it Mike? Yes. You're, yeah, that was Mike. The girly noise was Mike in the background. Um, it's just it's just the way he sounds sometimes. Um, he really likes to put on a show and in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, whoa, that's a lot of spam. Uh, what's your favorite Lego theme of all time? P.S. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> that was an interesting thing to include. Um, <laughs> Uh, sorry, you distracted me with that. I don't know why. <laughs> you still laughing? You still laughing? Uh, I mean, I really like Space Police, the third generation. Um, I mean, Star Wars feels like almost too much of a default. Uh, like you like never, you never want to pick the licensed one. Yeah, you don't want to pick the licensed like a, one. Almost a cop out. Yeah, Space Police for sure. Please, please, for sure. And also, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, in case you wanted to know. Um, uh, I really like the, what, I think we were talking about it a while ago. It's like the Arctic, uh, or the snow thing. What was it? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh uh, Ice Planet? Ice Planet, yeah. Yeah, I, Ice Planet was like. I really liked Ice Planet. Ice Planet was like one of the first types of Lego we ever got as kids. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, it was also like that mining one where it was like they had like rock like I don't know they made like there was like an underground one. I completely forgot the name of that set. Yeah. Uh, if Matt asks if I were to get the instructions for the Tie Fighter, how much would it cost for the Brickling pieces? They do fluctuate. I haven't checked it in probably two weeks, but Brickling prices fluctuate like crazy. They used to be a lot cheaper, and then what ended up happening is that quarter dome light bluish gray piece just became really, really uh, rare because I guess they're not yeah, particularly common. Yeah. yeah, we sold enough instructions and enough people bought out certain, that one in particular, but a few other, uh, like the canopy pieces too. They became rare and they became more expensive now. So, um, I don't know, but probably towards the higher estimated parts cost that you see in the, in the, um, in the uh, description. I do have estimated parts costs and all. If you go to the site, we we update it like once every two weeks because yeah, especially certain parts can come in and out of fluctuation, yeah. And I didn't realize how how quickly that happens because I, I hadn't updated, like I put it down and then two, then May the 4th happened and we sold a lot of TIE Fighters. And like, yeah, people were like, hey, there are a lot more than your description <laughs> says. I was like, oh no, I did not know that. Dude, this is so good. Oh, so the actual, yeah. 
Yeah, they yeah. made the dragon heads way better. Look at this. How much do you look, like? Look at this thing. With the teeth, the tusks. Yeah, like, oh. it's good. The heads are so much better than they were before. And I kind of like these a little more now. I like, well, this one at least, I like more than the um, the Lego built, or the, the, the molded heads that you get from elves. I always liked the elves one because the heads were bad for Ninjago before. Now they're good. So I, I prefer like a, a good brick built head as opposed to just like a perfectly molded head, you know, like just a piece that is a head. So I think we've finally gotten some really nice details here. And they've achieved some looks here that you couldn't quite get unless you had that new bracket piece, which is so cool. Um, anyways, let's get these horns done. Where are you? Uh, do you guys have new Lego in-store exclusive store set? Uh, which one? Is it the book? I don't think we've got the... Ooh, maybe Mike might have actually gotten the book. We haven't opened it up yet. Um, we do have the book. We haven't opened it, if, if that's the one you're thinking of. What? Oh. It's so hard to see what direction these horns are going. Yeah, I get confused. Stormbringer has like a couple that are like not there we go. Kind of like in line with all the rest. Mm -hmm. It was like years ago. Yeah. Like, I have a long day and you made it better. Awesome, Alex. Glad to hear it. Will you guys put the email in the description? Um, we can or you can check one of our other videos. I'm pretty sure we've got the, the emails I think always included in the description, right? Isn't it? Or maybe in the about? Yeah, I was gonna say it's you there. Might to, you it's might definitely need to look in there. depth into the actual like channel or like it's there. Here we go. Whoa, interesting. Okay, these horns look funny, but kind of cool. Okay, I think I got it. And the head is going to attach here. Please don't tell me that was supposed to be that. Not a good short-term memory, yeah. Sorry, what? No, me? <laughs> it's been gone for a long time. Sticker time. Pay attention to your comments. I gotta pay attention to my Lego too. The moment I start paying attention to the comments is the moment you guys say, pay attention to the Lego. <laughs> That's out. That's that's just the. Uh, it's the nature. It's the nature works. of the game. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. I like that. go for the hunt and find the email. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're not going to be able to update the email stuff. It's either in the about or in another video. I, I mean, almost all the videos. It could be even in fan mocks. I'll get it in fan mocks, which is always linked in the uh, top 10 of the week video. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'm pretty sure if you go to the about, I think it's there. Nearly positive. So do you think, uh, will all these new dragon designs we might get based on the new How to Train Your Dragon movie? Maybe, I don't know. I haven't heard, I haven't heard any rumblings about that as, a, as possible sets. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be very, very interesting with how they, you know, that's a lot of different types of dragons. Yeah, that's where Eurobrick really comes in handy. That's where all the yeah. That's where all the first big rumors kind of start circulating, um, and I only really pay attention if like a select few from Eurobrick say, "Hey, by the way, this is coming," because there's a few that are very consistent. Three bags left. I didn't shake the table. That didn't happen. Okay. 
What is set 75529? This is a random one, but not too random. 75, well, it's Star Wars. It's got to be Star Wars. Um, no, it's not. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Sure. I don't know. You okay? <laughs> Come on, seven five five two nine. You know that one. You know that one. What? You should make more micro mocks. I want to. I like micro stuff. We actually I have. I've made a lot more. I just haven't made a video on them. Um, yeah. I showed a few of them off, a few extra ones off at Star Wars days, and then since then it's like we've. I've added like all the um, all the Cowboy Bebop ships, uh, yeah. the Eagle Five. From Spaceballs. Um, something else. Something else has been added. Is there another bag of little pieces that I should have opened? Oh, no, never mind. That's some of the stuff that's just hidden. Oh, it's just one wing and then another wing. Okay, I see. It's 647 in the USA, except it's 347 oh, yeah. because you're on the East Coast. That's my life. I can't call anyone I used to know without assuming. <laughs> yeah. It's the same time. Well, I'm constantly talking to Vietnam, which Good is point. 17 hours ahead. Oh, that's that's a rough Trump time. <laughs> yeah, so it's uh 5.48 a.m. tomorrow in Vietnam. Yeah, right. right now. So, yep. That's always fun. It isn't. <laughs> Get, like, the days all messed up. Or it'll be like, happy birthday! It'll be the day before, yeah. but, <laughs> like, Facebook will get it, like, the day earlier or something. Can you give me a shout out, please? Mullet, maybe? Oh, might have done it. Um, the Praetorian Guard buildable, f oh, man, buildable figs. They have a slightly different, mm. that was actually a pretty recent one, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, we actually haven't built the most recent. Uh, no, we still have them. <laughs> yeah, we haven't built them yet. I think well, when Mike showed our pile and pile of boxes, they were, they're there. They're there, they're there. Pray tell, uh, Praetorian. Um, do you have the red Darth Vader helmet and have you heard, uh, I've heard of it, I've seen it. I think the, Bri actually I saw that first on the Brick Show. Um, yeah, and it's it's only a red uh, helmet that was made as a prototype and everyone goes, whoa, collectible. Um, no, we don't have it. It'd be cool to have, but it's technically not a minifig, so we don't feel obligated to get it. It's a minifig, and if it's Star Wars, we'll get it, but... You know what would be cool is to get a George Lucas minifigure. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. I would love it if our studio became big enough, and like well-known enough for like George Lucas to stop by. Like, yeah, you wanna see all this stuff? Look at you. Like, look at all this crazy, huge Star Wars stuff we've made. Be like, oh yeah, that's very good. Is that your George Lucas impression? Yeah, I'm trying. I can't. I can't do a George Lucas impression. It's funny to hear Mark Hamill do it though. Yeah. Because Mark Hamill's a voice actor. He's and, really good. And he's like spent however long around George Lucas. Just picked it up. Welcome to Great Ball. Yay. I'm Mountain Standard, so it's 3:49. Oh. Oh, that's it's our time. Yeah, it's our time. Yeah. I saw the Red Darth Vader helmet on Beyond the Brick. Oh yeah. Those guys were. I don't know if they've mentioned it. We we're talking with them because they're gonna be out here. I think um, they've mentioned that they're gonna come. Um, uh, they might be around for Comic Con, and we're in San Diego, so they might actually be. We might meet them, which is super cool. Um, they're gonna be at Comic Con. Like yeah, Sunday. I think I think I don't know if they're in on press. Like I, I didn't, didn't talk to them. them. No, no, they're just like, hey, we might be in town for this like sometime in July, maybe. Right. And I was like, oh, sweet, yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah, they might come by. They might see the studio and all that. Um, 
Yeah, that'll be sweet. I think my brother met him, met one of the guys once. I don't know. It's so much time passing by. But um, the ultrasonic radio, you guys know what set? Nine four four nine. Oh, that isn't. That's an old Star Wars set. I know. I know that number because I've gone through so many Star Wars collection videos that I've like recognized certain numbers. Hey, look at this green dragon. I don't know nine four. I don't know, man. I'm not good with set numbers though. That looks pretty what good. Can I tell it like. Does this guy have a name? Anyone know? Of course he's got a name. Yeah, but like, what is it? Why am I not, like, why is this it's not explicitly? Susie, obviously. Doesn't it look like a Susie? I think your obviously is a little different than my obviously. Susie! <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Oh, oh. Whoa, this detail is so cool. Nice. Jack, what happened to people like Veronica, Natalie, Charlie, Chris? They used to make videos on this channel and they are gone. What happened? Hey, Charlie. Uh, well, Charlie's my brother. Um, oh, got it. We were thinking about getting a name tag or like like name placards or whatever and having yours being Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, all the other people, we our channel used to be based in Orange County. And then we moved, it literally was in a garage in Orange County. Uh, and then we moved to San Diego. So when we moved to San Diego, all the people that built with us back in Orange County stayed. In fact, a good portion of them were already commuting from LA to come and hang out. And then we moved down to, and we moved all the way down. Yeah, and it was like, way farther. like, yeah, we're not coming like two hours in traffic, you know, one way and then two hours back uh, just, to, just to hang out or do Lego or whatever. So that unfortunately, uh, a lot of the people that initially did that stuff, uh, some building with us in the beginning, they, they are gone. They're not that gone. I mean, I was in contact with Veronica for a while. Um, Gloria, uh, actually she, she knew people, some of the people that we used to work with, they were, they were friends with the people that I ended up uh, being roommates with now. Oh wow, so, that's like, a weird coincidence. Yeah, it was super random. Like we moved down and I was just working on videos and I was like, oh, look for a spot in a, in a week or two when I get everything under the belt. And then, hey, I know some people that are looking for a roommate uh, that are really right. close to where you live, yeah. to where your office is. I was like, really? Oh, okay. Yes. And then I met them and they're like, and they had a giant Lego diorama of a huge Star Wars battle in the middle of their living room. Oh, wow. Okay. And I was like, oh, did Gloria tell you like, yeah. <laughs> what I do? And they were like, no. I was like, oh, so this is totally coincidental. Coincidental, yeah. It's oh, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we ended up getting along pretty well. Good times. Seven, six, five, zero. I just built that. Se oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I built seven, zero. Zero six. Seven six five zero. Oh wait, no no. It's the wing. It's, no, it's no, the no, wing. no 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 no. We we were seven zero six. Seven six zero is different. Um, was wait 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 wait. I think I know the the Star Destroyer playset in two thousand fifteen seven five five no seven five zero five five. I think that's what it is. Look it up. Look it up. See what happens. Oh, wait a second. This piece, I should take off and add. It's funny that you say we should get uh, name tags and then put it for Jerome. Yeah. Uh, in, in college, I was an RA for a year. So it was like, you know, it was like standard RA stuff and whatever you were supposed to like, make sure everyone's nice and blah, blah, blah. 
they gave us all name tags for whenever we were on duty. Mm -hmm. And despite being like, I would say probably one of the departments that tried its darndest to be like super like, you know, politically correct and worrying for everyone's feelings and blah, blah, blah. Oh, sure. sure they, uh, they gave me my name tag and it was my name, Ramon, but with like an accent on it. That's so So amazing. I was like, so like, you Ramon. took, yeah, exactly. It was like, you took, you took an Hispanic Saudi name and just assumed it was an accent on it. I kept that thing. I was like, I am not giving this away. Ramon. This is amazing. That's so awesome. I can't find the email. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna drive him crazy. The email, I'll give it to you in code, hidden throughout different words in the conversation through the rest of the stream. I'll make it incredibly convoluted and terrible, <laughs> horrible process. You're gonna, you're gonna, yeah. You're gonna, you, he's just gonna now pay attention for the rest of the stream. You must answer it's these questions, gonna, yeah. three. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I like this piece. I like this piece. I love the channel. What is your fave set and why? Uh, alien thumbs up. I think that's a stamp. British guard, money, 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 credit card, credit card, credit card. Um, I think I'm gonna start just, I'm gonna have a I'm list ready see. of just a bunch of sets. I'm just gonna say a new one every time. I know, I always just say, no, you, that'll get too hard. Uh, <laughs> you should, it would be funny to just say a random one every time and just make up a random reason. Oh, um, yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, I oh, just, I see. oh, I'm not saying like legitimately, like I just mean like I'm gonna have a list. Yeah, yeah, because make it, sure I cross it's, it off. It's asked so often, uh, but I always say slave one. You see a slave one. Always. Oh, this is kind of cool. How you just make the the wings longer if they need to be. Huh? All you gotta do is like this one's just added on, kind of just with one connector piece. But then if you want to make it longer, you just add an extra bit to it. Oh. Oh, so right, 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 okay. Longer. That's longer there. And then the next one, I'm sure, yeah, is even longer. Interesting. Uh, I bought you guys that advanced mock when it first came out and built it. It was so awesome. It looks great on my shelf. Awesome, George M. I'm really glad to hear it. I yeah. built that one too. Oh yeah. Wait, which one did you build? The advanced? advanced? Right? Yeah, you did. Yeah. You built the advanced. Um, that thing was fun. Yeah, no, it was, dude. It was a really good build. It was, yeah. Yeah, Jarek, Jarek really works really like, <laughs> his, his building is like, he's really next level. Okay, and that should have this. Oh. Nice. I think we got something. Huh? 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 No. Oh no, that's just that's just a subscriber sound. Yeah. Or like Twitch sub sound. Yeah. C J Oliver eight has followed. M Faisal. Gosh, it's so hard to tell when there's no spaces and stuff. <laughs> I'm actually really glad I there's that was all one word, no space, no capitals, no spaces. Yeah, wow. Pretty sure pretty sure it's C J Oliver. Um, I saw. It was funny because I, I was kind of watching um, other people's Twitch streams. I was watching like Summit and uh, mm -hmm. and you know Doctor Disrespect, mm -hmm. but I don't know if he was reading stuff like just kind of eyeballing it or something. But it, it looked like he, he was really good. Like Summit was really good at just reading out all these oh. random names. <laughs> Wow, how does he just like know how to pronounce every single one perfectly? Because I, I just butcher them constantly. Um, this is getting set up here. There. And then this is coming in. Is this one? Oh, interesting. Okay. That's gonna keep these wings jacked. Lego do a UCS Django Fett Slave 1 with Camino landing platform for 400 bucks. I mean, I would get it, uh, but will it sell and people want to spend that much for it? Maybe. 
Um, I'm always one for like the cleaner looks of like ships like that. So I've, I've always liked how his like how his slave was. Oh, you like his like Bova's? Yeah. Yeah. There's I. Oh yeah, you know what? We're supposed to order the parts for the micro Django slave one. Oh okay, yeah. Because I really want to do that pursuit scene with um, with Django's slave one and Obi Wan with the asteroids oh, that would be cool, and the exploding yeah. uh, bombs. I, I thought I, I thought it was like a really fun scene. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then this is gonna attach itself. Wait, oh, this is gonna attach itself here, I see. Let's add a little bit more detailing onto the arm. Um, I'm building Kesselman Millennium Falcon right now. Awesome. I I like I like um, the way those sets worked out, but it's not it's not the 2015 Falcon. What's the one that came out before that? Those were that design for the nose was better. I really think it was. Mm -hmm. um, so if you look at the evolution of the Falcon. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, there's, so it wants me to pull out the number one. Sorry, I'm distracted oh, with this. With the wings, yeah, that's, that's. It's like fold it, make sure you don't tear anything. This feels a little bit softer than the last version, so I don't want to like accidentally rip it. No, it feels fine. Yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? I didn't know that this, uh, when we were testing it earlier, I, I think it was actually the other day um, when Mike was like putting it together. Um, everything was up and connected. You know, we obviously weren't going live or anything, but it went to sleep at some point. And I was in here. Really? Like the computer went to sleep. Oh, okay. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't live or anything. It was literally, we had tested it and we kind of just ignored it and it, the computer went to sleep or at least closed for a second. I'm doing stuff in here, and all of a sudden everything just turns on because huh. of someone subscribed to the channel. Oh, that's and so I was funny. Like, that was terrified. I was like, oh, oh, I guess this thing tracks subscriptions still. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it'll stay on like that whole time. Yep. Ooh, interesting. Check this out. That's how it stays on. You, you put these little. Oh, you put them in like kind of like pins? Yeah, and they pin through. Interesting. That's something. Kind of a finicky little. But it works. Okay, so that will go on like this. You kind of have to pre fold it. Sorry, guys, I was looking down. Jack, you should do a UCS Django Pet Slave one with Camino Landing Pad. Oh, should they? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, brick Vault, please, needs to know if you have set 403. Stop saying the number. <laughs> I don't know them all. <laughs> just, just say the name. Describe it. I refuse to humor you heathens anymore. Um, but we totally have that set. No, we don't. I don't know. I have no idea. What it is. <laughs> I have no idea. You're making some promises. I'm not promising anything. I'm just lying. <laughs> <laughs> Blatantly, shamelessly lying. OK. Right, well, what you put that um, what's your top three favorite dragon build? Green Ninja Mech Dragon, even though it's a mech, I still consider it a dragon. Yeah, it's close enough. It's in the game. Green Ninja Mech Dragon, and then, um, uh, honestly, some of these might be some of my favorites. I think they're really top quality builds here. They just might be. Okay, that's kind of, oh yeah, I like how they kind of, they kind of ask you to pre fold it a bit. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that it was like, they're like, I, please what is it bend for? it down a bit. Oh, it's to kind of get it in between. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Okay, and then there's different levels here. Put that in, and then, yeah. Oh, okay, I see that. Why do I feel like there's... Oh, this is the spare. Cool. That's how the wing works. Good idea. Looks good as like a silhouette. Spare. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the folds in it. It's like it gives it some weight. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. So six is just doing the exact same thing for the other side. And then seven will finish off this one. Green Ninja Mech Dragon is awesome, it is. What is your favorite Lego set, Ramon? No accent. <laughs> you shouldn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I said it before, my favorite Lego set is probably the, uh, from the Old Republic, it's like the Jedi Cruiser, or the Republic Cruiser, giant. It's like red, bulky, it was kind of like an old timey predecessor to like the blockade runners that like you'll see in the new movies and stuff. But uh, yeah, really into those old Republic sets. Have we seen the new range troopers? Yes, and they oh, look, look cool. Yeah, they look really good. Oh man, these wings are gonna be so dope. Okay. Um, Oh, and you can fold this down, which is sweet. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. That's cool, like the wing folds. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, okay. Oh wait, you know what? Smaug. Yeah. Smaug. That was a really good right, dragon. You have to say it like that. That's how they say it in the movie. Smaug. Smaug. <laughs> have you seen, you've seen the I've movie. I've seen the movie, but it's just Smaug. Smaug. You have, have to go super like, Smaug. It's, they only say it, and they only say it really dramatically. Um, so I would say Green Ninja Mech Dragon, Smaug, and then maybe one of these dragons. Maybe all of right. them. No, the, the, uh, he, that was a really cool build. Like, I, even like, I was, <laughs> I was like looking at it the other day because it was just like hanging out by like the Death Star and stuff. Yeah. And it's just, oh, I, I, I like how he looks. It's cool. Smaug? Yes. How do you say anything? I'm not huge or you. <laughs> Mog. Well, that's how everybody said his name until that freaking movie came out and people just went, what? Oh, sorry. Oh! Hey! Hey! -o. Hey! We're ending the stream! Boop! Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one bag out of this, so I'm probably going to eat it right after that. Okay. That's my guess. Uh, let me finish. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I, like, I don't want to like finish halfway through the bag. What is your overall favorite mock? Um, that's mock. impossible. Once yeah. again, it's impossible. <laughs> I remember one of the first mocks that I felt really, really like accomplished uh, and just feeling like I learned so much about intricate, tiny little builds was when I, when I copied. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that's how you, yeah, honestly, that is, that's how yeah, you learn yeah. the best is like- it's the way you said it. <laughs> you, you copy, like you look at it and you're like, how did they do that? And you try to figure it out and either you do or you don't, or they sometimes provide internal shots and you can kind of figure out what they were going for. Uh, was, oh, I can't remember the name of the guy who built it, but uh, it was this this little um, swordfish, the swordfish too. It's just like the internals of this little, kind of a micro build. I found out later that it scaled perfectly with the, the Saturn, the, the Saturn V. Did it? Yeah, okay. it's crazy. It scales like perfectly with the Saturn yeah, V, that red sword. That's why I always yeah, put exactly. them next to each other. Okay, I was like, I was oh. Yeah. I was like, this is so cool. They're like the exact same size that they need to be. Um, yeah, so, but I just felt like I learned so much while building that, uh, that I kind of always look at them like, yes, I love this mock. Um, Jack, do you have a family? I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't have kids, if that's what you mean, no. Uh, but yes, I have a family. I literally work with my brother, um, who was just here a second ago. You haven't disowned him yet? No, he hasn't disowned me yet. I think that's probably more accurate. Um, yes, Plato KC. That means yes, but of course. In German. Are you... What are your favorite five Lego themes? Oh, I don't know, man. I, 
Jack, you should, Jack, there should be a Lego Spaceballs. Should there be, yes, there should. It got 10,000 votes. The Ego 5 got 10,000 votes of support, but Mel Brooks, back in whenever he made that movie, um, signed an agreement with George Lucas that he was not allowed right. to make any that. money off of, uh, or he wasn't allowed to sell merchandise based on it because people would mistake it for being real Star Wars merchandise and it would cut into Star Wars sales. So Lucas was like, um, I give you all the blessings to do a Star Wars parody. Um, he actually gave him, he gave him access to, um, what was the name of the LucasArts back then? It wasn't called LucasArts back then. Oh, oh wow. Uh, um, when Spaceballs came out, it had the most cutting edge special effects. Like, honestly, like the special effects for Spaceballs now are fine, like they're passable. I mean, can't be well, at certain yeah, parts yeah. because it's silly, but so George Lucas was like, okay, you can totally make this parody, but you can't make uh, any merchandise based on it. And that's why there was that, all that merchandising jokes, like all the merchandising yeah. jokes in the movie. <laughs> merchandise, get your love. Yeah, 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 yeah the yogurt thing. Um, so yes, there should be. We want to make, um, I was actually just thinking of recoloring oh. that creator, yeah. the creator camper van because it's almost perfect minifig. I think it is perfect minifig scale for yeah, the it. Winnebago. It's, it's, it's barely, if it's not, it's, like, it's barely not. It's like what, like two studs short or something? Yeah. I can't remember. It's like two studs short for you were counting it. perfect it was, it was minifig really scale. Really close. So what, we, what I think we are gonna do is recolor that and then add some wings and, and make a fun minifig scale Eagle 5. I don't know if we'll make that as like a set for the store just because the Winnebago set is so good and so close that if we recolor it, it would feel weird to yeah. make that its own set of instructions. Everything we put up is like crazy, you know, original. So we wouldn't want to recolor a Lego set and be like, weird, it's ours. Um, but anyways, yeah, there should be that. It should be out there at some point. That was so disappointing though. I really wanted that Eagle 5 to transfer. And then I didn't I didn't know about that agreement until afterwards. Oh, uh, okay. I, I learned about it because. Because I was like, everybody wants this. No. I hate yogurt, even the kind with the fruit on the even the kind with the fruit on the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That was such a good one. Funny, she doesn't look druish. Mike said he watched it recently, and he said all the jokes didn't hold up as well. And I watched it recently too. It's doesn't. It's a well. It's the jokes I think are fine. It's not the same. I feel. I feel for me, it was more of. Oh. I've seen it too much. I guess. You know. Yeah. They're, they're, it doesn't. It doesn't have the same impact anymore. Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Maybe. Maybe it won't last as well. So we're almost there. It's still a great class. I finished my bag and I get to enjoy some food now. Uh huh. I'm like wondering if we should actually end this stream pretty you soon. You think so? Yeah, we might want to. Okay. Um, keep them, keep, end the stream while they're still interested. Um, that was like a, that's like the classic, like, you're always supposed to end a game before the game gets stale. Yeah, yeah. You know okay, what I mean? I know what you mean. Um, so like it's better to end a game when people are like oh instead of like like Finally. begging for the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. Um, I feel like I'm gonna finish this and then we'll probably cut the stream. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. You heard it from me first. And I'm not doing a bunch of the review stuff right now for the streams, just because this was more of a day of like hey let's see how much we can build and how long have we been streaming for? Yeah. Uh, three hours and 15 minutes. Um, yes. So that's what we're gonna do. Do you guys think you will do an every Harry Potter professor minifig ever? Yes, we will. Oh yeah. I'll yeah, we're about to. I'll satisfy it. Unless you want me to stay until you're done. No, 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 I'm good. Okay. Yes, we will. I'll be out in 15, 20 minutes. Look at this dragon. Look at it. Look back, right. Anyone knows its name, just like let me know, because I don't want to look it up. This is this is our head of research here, guys. Yeah. This is our head of research here in the, in the lab. <laughs> Jack, should there be a UCS ATACT 
with 6,000 pieces. Wow. No, no, no one will get it. <laughs> I mean, we have Cave God's uh, AT-80, which is about as, which is a 1.5 scale AT-80 uh, for minifig. So it's, it's above, it's increased. And if we were to change some of the dimensions, the head obviously, and the side panels to orange and tweak, tweak the overall body shape a little bit, we could get something, uh, we could, that, that could be really, really close to what the ATACT is minifig scale. So that'd be kind of fun to do a cosmetic sort of change up and say, hey, we've actually got a minifig scale ATACT now. We've converted cave god. So maybe we will do that. I don't know, because we because it's in parts, not in parts, but taken apart a little bit for the for the move. We haven't put it back up yet. And I'm thinking I'm like, maybe we should change that um, before we put it back up. We probably won't. I don't think we will, just because the stand for it is so much fun. Um, so, so. Yeah, right here in my hand. I think I stole that from somebody else. I'm trying to get power transferred over. The power? Yeah, it's easy for residential, but for commercial, it's good. So I'll put it by the next Oh no, it's still on the other, it's still like left over from the other month? When is it due to expire? Oh no, the power might shut off at some point. Don't worry, it's not gonna happen now. Nice dancing in the back. Someone was dancing? I didn't see it. Look behind you. Okay. Hey, Krusty the Clown. <laughs> All right, let me let me focus. I'm almost done. Um, okay. I thought we were gonna go into the wing. It looks like we're doing some some other feet. Ah, logistics. Suddenly, you're in the dark. Yeah, hopefully not. When did Ramon join? Uh, I wanna say like two months ago? I don't know, I think I think two months ago. Time flies. My ability to assess time at this point. You haven't hinted at the email. Okay, the first, the brick vault is definitely in the, in the email. Brick vaults, there. We're getting close to the end of the stream. I was gonna do convoluted. Oh, you gave it to him. No, I didn't. I just said Brick Vault is in it. Oh. Which is most of the email. Yeah. If you can't figure it out past that, you don't deserve it. Brick Vault is in the email. Oh, this is the times two. Okay, hold on. Oh, wait a second. This is actually already done for the front claws. Okay. I'm not going to have them stand up yet, even though it kind of says that you could. How long has remote, okay. Uh, how many sets have you built today and how many more to go? One, two, three, this will be four, um, four and a half and then also another. So four completed when I finish this. Um, and then, and then uh, I think Ramon's not, maybe not halfway into that one, but that's a big one. And then Mike is, Somewhere, he's somewhere in the first quarter, I think, of that build. So, decent amount though. Um, we've got the parts here. In terms of the ones that are completed, it's like 177 plus 122. Are we gonna do math on this channel? That's almost exactly 400, it's like 399. Um, and then Stormbringer was 470. So 499, that's 800, uh, 989. Um, and then 989 plus the firstborn, which is what I'm doing, 551. Um, so plus the one, this is 90. Uh, uh, 989, Ugh. it's 1,000, 1,000, 30 plus 800, 1,830 pieces. I don't know. Ugh. It's actually not that much. You're slow. Jack, you should be there. $20 set with Luke. Let's do scout troopers on speeder bikes. 
Oh. Well, they did the one Scout Trooper buildable fig. But you mean a $20 set in minifig scale? That would be fun. Explosion function. It should be three speeder bikes. Oh, and, and you could have uh, Wicket. You could put Wicket in the set too. Oh, well, okay, $20, $20 if it's a Star Wars set, yeah, it would just be Luke and Leia on speeder bikes, you're right. Um, with, with Luke, Leia, and two scout troopers on speeder bikes, no, if, if they were doing that set, like a Star Wars set, it would be just two figs and like nothing else. This, like the $20 set here comes with five figs and it's like 177 pieces. Uh, if that was a Star Wars licensed set, nah. It would be it would be way more, or you would you would, you'd get way less. So, yeah, that's kind of how. How did you get your city to the new studio? Um, we packed it all up in boxes. We put it in the back of a U-Haul, and then we tried to not have it crash too much. One two boxes got dropped, uh, which means two. I think one of the boxes might have had two. Um, two buildings and the other one had one. So those ones got pretty, pretty banged up. Um, and then, yeah, but for the most part, it was all fine. They kind of get broken down a little bit just when you pack them, that's just part of it. Um, so, yeah, the city, the city we need to, we, it sucks because we wanna, we wanna set it up now. We're super impatient just to be like, oh, let's get it built and set up and ready to go. But um, we have to do some painting on the walls. We just had a guy come in and patch up a bunch of holes that were left over from the previous, uh, the previous business. So um, there's still some, some logistics that we have to knock out here in the studio first. And then, and then we get to set up all the tables and we get to start spreading all this stuff out and rebuilding the format of the city that got totally destroyed. And I mean totally destroyed. Um, so, yeah, it'll, it'll get back up. Your food is getting cold and I found the email. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, the, it is. We've got a microwave, fortunately. Have we used it yet? I don't want to microwave stuff in styrofoam. That's not a good idea. Okay. Post the email, please. Somebody said they found it. I can't believe our email has been secret this whole time. I thought it was on all of our videos. Support me, please. Jack, did you hear that Lego is bringing up 25 bucks to 30 bucks this year? Oh, well, Lego is going through some financial stuff. Um, they're not, I don't know if they're, like, they've got to be. Um, it's, it's not necessarily like a, it's like there's something wrong with Lego or the products necessarily, but um, the amount that people are interested in building physical stuff as opposed to just playing video games, uh, you know, it's, it's dwindling. Video games are, are winning out. There's no way that physical toys are gonna like lose out forever. That's just not gonna be a thing, but the market will, is shrinking um, just in terms of, you know, the, the the amount of time that kids like to spend playing with video games as opposed to Lego is um, increasing and it's cheaper too. It's cheaper to have a video game habit than a Lego habit. That's no question about that. So um, yeah, uh, it doesn't surprise me that, they, that they're trying to maybe capitalize a little bit more off of certain sales here and there because it does make a huge difference for them I think in the, in the long run. So to be fair, Lego, I feel like with, with inflation um, taken into account has, at least for certain stuff, I remember some of, that, some of those older Lego sets were pretty darn expensive. Um, you know, the, the, the price increases for Lego over the years has not been as significant as maybe some people like to, or it just like feels like in your mind it might be. Um, dude, yes. Okay, nice. Haven't actually stood the dragon up yet. And we're doing the wing. And then the last is the tail. And then we're done. 
Um, Jack, did you, um, why didn't you core the 12,000 meters into, into, into the, sorry, I can't read that word, but why didn't you something the 12,000 piece sand crawler into the 3,000 piece sand crawler? Um, we just never got the 3,000 piece one. And then we were, we saw that build and we we're like, we want that. We want the big one. We want the big baddie. So, um, at this point, now that we've got the 12,000 piece sand crawler, the other ones don't really seem particularly, you know, they don't, they don't seem that interesting really. So I don't like, we'll get that. We'll get that new playset, the new sand crawler playset, And it just looks, it looks puny and did it doesn't even look good compared to the old ones. Um, so we'll, we'll get that one and just kind of, because we'll, we like the figs and we'll still like, you know, it'll be fun to kind of have it next to the big one, just as a funny sort of juxtaposition. We could literally have the little one inside the big one, um, which would be kind of funny to do. But yeah, in terms of just really wanting to get a new set, like desiring uh, a sand crawler, uh, we don't I don't really care too much to get the UCS 3000 one, 3000 piece one. Happy early B-Day. Do you opiate what? Uh, the mall, the mall where out Lego store is about 45 minutes away from where I live, so it's quite a drive. That is that is a drive. Um, we got pretty lucky here, being in San Diego. It's two Lego stores, pretty close to where we live. Um, yeah, and it's, it's it's pretty darn convenient. Not gonna lie. I I'm I'm as close as I could ever want to be to a Lego store. It, it couldn't be more convenient for me personally. But it wasn't like an accident that we sort of ended up here. What do you guys think of the new remote control Batmobile? It's a good idea. I like, I like that they're changing things up. They're mixing. Oh, hey, we've got some electronic features for certain builds here and there. Let's, uh, let's, add, let's mix it up with DC. Fine, let's do it. The Batmobile kind of reminds me of what the, um, it's like what the original Rebirth comics sort of look, or am I confusing, confusing with Rebirth or something else? One of those had like a really ridiculous looking tank. And that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, so I kind of like that. It does have a bit of a reminiscent feel to the, uh, to the comics, even though it doesn't feel very Batmobile-y just in general. Here we go. Oh, yes. And let's attach it. Yep. Okay. The wings up. That's a good idea. Why I want to wait about a week to get it. I'm not so impressed by the new PF sets and controllers. Oh. Honestly, that was inevitable. They were they were going to change that um, to make it compatible with tablets and and phones and stuff. That's the wave of the future. This is remember, it's like this has to appeal to kids too, and to make it easily accessible um, in that manner was uh, I think a a good choice for them to do. Uh, yeah, when it comes to people that really like doing the advanced robotic stuff, um, I think they're gonna still have avenues for, for Mindstorm and the complex stuff. But yeah, in terms of just basic basic controller functions, yeah, that was a good idea on their part. Are you gonna add Lego Boost to your Stormbringer Dragon? We will, we'll totally show that off. We will definitely show that off as a, as a feature when we do the review. Let's see. Oh, why do I feel like that? Uh, there we go. Okay, almost there. Ah, uh, there we go. I knew that was going to be something fitting in a weird way. Ah, uh, this. Off the arm. Oh! 
Well, Ramon can do the sound foam now. Oh, we need more box paper. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay, I need to go to Michael's. So many things to do. Okay. Let's. Who's, who is dancing? <laughs> I saw that because it's delayed comments. Oh. So like as soon as whoever stopped, like I saw all these comments. You should make a minifig scale pod racer mock. Yes. Who does in intert? Intert does the best. Intert's uh, Anakin's pod racer. So good. Did they see us dancing in the window behind you? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Ramon is like. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun to troll people streaming. <laughs> uh, Jack, you should make a minifig scale. Okay, Jack, when are you going to? Because like, we have like, whenever we have like live or something, yeah, the video gets behind. Yeah. And the mic is rooted through the XLR, of course. Which so does it get? It does get delayed then, doesn't it? I mean, the mic doesn't get delayed. The camera's get delayed. Doesn't that wasn't the same problem we had last time, wasn't it? That's why we rooted the mic to the cam, because we used the big cam. Oh, did that the, fix the problem? Yeah, because the cam was processing the audio. Okay. And you. both audio and video were coming from the same HDMI cable, so there was no way to delay it. Yeah. And now, mic, audio, and cams are like separate. Because mm. we're using a different cam now. Right. So I, I think we may try to get in touch with the big cam. But the webcam looks so good. I mean, it's weird that the webcam audio would get desynced though. Or no, no, where's, wait, this. No, this audio. This audio. It's the same because the webcam is delayed. Um, well, we'll have to figure it out. Yep. Okay. Why does this feel funny? It's totally, I, oh my gosh, I totally put that in the wrong spot. Oopsies, that goes, oh, I should probably put the pin back. Oopsies. Okay. Hi, Jack, hey, hi, Mike, hey, hi, Mike, hi, Mike. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> hey, guys, how's it going? We're just knocking out. Oh, that's a cool dragon, It is, it is a really cool dragon. The wings get a little bit crinkly, but I might be able to optimize that in a minute. So it folds down there. The blue one. So the blue one looks pretty good. I think they really tried to follow. It's it's a it's a slightly less. Oh, it looks like the green uh, Yeah, exactly. It's like a slightly less detailed version of the green ninja mech dragon. That's what it feels like to me. Um, but it, it holds a lot of the same dimensions though, which I like. So it's not as good as the green engine. How do you boost it? Uh, we'll have to look it up. I'll have to check out the description on that. I saw that. Yeah, I was like, how does it boost? That's the one they showed them in the New York Toy Fair. I think it might just have like sound effects. I'm not really sure. It was moving the pants. But... Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, well, there's, there's a way. Okay, cool. So this thing is done. And it's got, uh, I kind of folded the wings. But. Oh, the soul, the soul. See? It's pretty good. It's a really simple function. Um, there's a tail. That's it. Okay. After I finish this, the stream is over. I'm killing it. There's probably like less than 100 pieces in here. Alrighty. Yes. Okay. Alright, Kai. Oops. He falls forward because he doesn't have his tail on. Mention the 80 song, take me on. Okay. Now, let's get this done. Whoa, yeah, there's almost no. There's almost no parts in this bag. Hey Jack, can you tell Mike that I really like the brick blog? Hey Ramon, can you tell Mike that people really hate his brick vlog? That's what people in the comments just said. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah. 
I'm just finishing this off. Nice. Yeah. So we got off the top. Yep. Well, I'm going to bring in the sheet. Hopefully, this is normal sheet rock, but I think. It looks like it is. I was messing around with oh, it yeah, up there. Taxi. Yeah. Should be okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll bring in some sheet. Oh, you guys got to leave it there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What'd you get him in with the tiny, tiny ones? Just a little down. Where are the swords? Oh, wait, we know. More swords coming out here. Uh, two of those. Oh, one, two. Here's this cool yeah. dragon handle. Maybe That's right. really good. Okay. I mean, I was just going to try to hit the cardboard. It's not going to be much of an issue with dodging. Okay. Interesting. Cool. It'll be in between. Yeah, oh, they're the little, little blades. That's why I didn't realize what they were for. He's got two little daggers. Very cool. Yeah. Alright, so this is the last one. Yep, that should be enough. Yeah. Yeah. More than enough. Yeah, I got the corners up yesterday. Hopefully enough. Okay. okay. So, yeah, this is four completed this is sets this by the time I'm done with this last yeah. little bag here. Is that camera? On? Yeah, we were messing around with it. Like yeah, you can like hand hold it. It's really, really jerky though. Well, you could. Yes, but not as good as you. Hold on, I got one bag left. <laughs> okay. All right, um, we'll be here in case you need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, his monitor is insane. Yeah, he like let me play on it for a second, and it was just, I just saw how insane Battlefield is. When will we stream Spot again? Points. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Manianers. I don't know if all of us are going to be on the stream tomorrow, just because... I've got better to things to, to do. Thank you very much. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, because there's going to be a lot of like little videos to knock out. Um, okay, we still have like half of this. The, the docks is huge. Yeah. And the docks are docks. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. And hello. Okay, there it is. So close. So close. Just joining in what's going on. It's all <laughs> over. It's all over. Just <laughs> just down in the middle. We I'm finishing off the fourth set, and then there's another one that's still being built, that's the fifth. Mike's building the sixth, and then yeah. the best set we haven't opened yet. But that'll be for tomorrow. Oh, the diesel knot? Yeah. Oh, yeah that's the diesel cool. knot's not even. Yeah. I think the US is going to be called the wall race. Will it? It's I possible. Think they will use the set. Oh, so like that. <laughs> I think that's why the more than they would come that way, but I don't think they will. Nope. No, the war race. That's what it's called in Mad Max. Yeah, wait, There's no yeah, way they yeah, can yeah, call the it the... Call it that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't no, know. no, no. Mad Max is called the, the War Ring. No, it is, that is the name of it in Mad Max, oh, no. Okay. So no, no, I looked it up on Brixit. That's like, because the, we don't have the titles on our boxes. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely the Diesel Knot. Um, or as Borat would say, the Diesel Knot. No, nothing. Nobody? Someone got the truck. Someone got the Not. That was, that, was, that was one of my favorite parts of that. I don't know if it was from the show or the movie. Do you remember that scene when he's like, the guy's trying to tell him a knock Pretty knock joke? It is, the, it is the movie? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Did you ever watch the show? No, that's why. I'm like, I've oh. heard that joke. And that's why oh, I'm, okay. That's well, the, the show is like just as crazy, if not crazier. Was it was it just uh, basically short for, short form? Totally, yeah. yeah. Basically, the movie was just more <laughs> of it. Content in one yeah. kind of shot. Or yeah, movie. yeah. It was it was on another level. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish it off when I finish this set. I'm telling you. I'm so glad I found the email. Thank you for being so awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Yay. No help. No help to, from me. 
Uh, we have to do it to protect ourselves. Okay, there we go. Um, It'll be cool though, once you finish that last dragon, we'll have all three. Yep. No, oh, totally. All three. And then we can do a cool, like, every ninja set together. Yeah, those are fun videos, actually. I like having those, because I like being able to write down all the information so I can directly compare, like, part, price, minifig, like, quality. Because sometimes I'll, I'll build a new, like, a first new set from a wave and be like, it's so cool, it comes with all this stuff, and then build some other ones from the wave and be like, oh, all this other stuff kind of has it too, but it's, like, better, or it's, like, worse or something. And then when you build it kind of all in the same realm, then you get a better perspective. Okay, here's the tail. Is that it? Tail's it. Oh, and then there's like a saddle. Okay. Ah. How many viewers do we have? We've got 8,000 viewers right now. Balls, not no, we've okay, got good. we've okay. got like 120. Whoop, whoop. Grab it. Stay. Please, really, can someone bring the fox on the shelf closer, please, please, please? Sure. Oh, Be careful with the tail. Yeah, I know. Be careful with the tail. I missed with it. Be enough, careful enough. with. I'm gonna just say it ten times. Yeah. The 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 small paws are a little bit um, funny too. Find like a good way to hold it. There you go. Yeah, it's fine. Look at him. Yep, the red fox. An amazing build. That head, so difficult. I just broke it over and over and over again when I was trying to put it together. Did you build the fox? The huh? Yeah, we built the fox. Right. Yep, built the fox a while ago. Yeah, so it's his so it was really difficult. It was a really hard set to build. I built. I just broke the head constantly. Make a Lego. Make a what? A Lego man. A Lego man. Yeah, I can make it like a big one. Oh, a big one, yeah, maybe. Um, there's a guy that did a really cool one where it like opened up and you could see the skeleton oh, on the inside. Yeah. That was really cool. Oh, I like I like how they got the seat to come together with the little clip pieces. <laughs> it's the Don't tail. <laughs> it's the tail. Don't turn around. <laughs> Shame him. You can see that. What's that? What's that? It's the tail. It's the tail right the there. To be fair, it was the feet first, and then I, uh, <laughs> I Oh, I know how to. Oh, I know. I know. I know how to do it, guys. It's fine. I love you. Yeah. Well, it's a super easy mock to rebuild. If you don't break the head, the body is fine. The body comes back together in the same. But do not break, if you break the head, I will break you. That's seriously a difficult build. Okay, nice, we've got a saddle here. I like that the saddles are detachable, you know? So if you yeah, just want to have a raw dragon, because all the other dragons have like built in just sitting spaces, not right. even really saddles. They're just weird. Yeah, and they look ugly. Um, this is dope because you can just plug it in. Oh, I can see exactly what it's supposed to be. So clever. I wonder why they did that. And then it hooks into, okay. Get the twist to that way. Yep. Boom! Nothing ever happened. This thing's just finished. Dude, this dragon is massive. Oh, that's... Okay, yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's solid. The wing functions work pretty well, too. Not as fluid, but... I wish there was a little bit more range there, but... It's pretty... Like it went down a little bit more. Because it has... the space, almost. I, I want to say it should. It's bumping, it's bumping into something. Oh, yeah, I can see what it's bumping. You could modify it, I think, to maybe do that if you wanted. It would be probably like this. Um, dude, yes. And then there's enough space with the seat.
to sit Kai down with his swords and scabbards back there. Yes, just like little things like that where you don't have to take the guys apart in order to get the pieces to fit together. I like those uh, little aspects. The seat itself actually looks good. It's got these little flaps that kind of come down. You can take it off. Solid, all right. Also the helicopter for this was really good. Never seen a canted blades, bladed helicopter. You can one hand, oh, oh I dropped the chicken. It come, comes with a turkey, okay. Um, this guys marks the end of the road for all y'all. Jack, there should be a Lego Rebel Trooper lookout poly bag for three bucks. Yes. Uh, hey guys, what's up, Jack? There should be a UCS dual on Nabu with 2,000 pieces. That $20 set wasn't enough. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Um, that $20 set was. Yeah, it was just. It was a little bit. Whatever. Um, I like the, the laser things, opening and closing, but it could have been so much more. Um, Jack, have you been watching since the beginning of the live stream? You've been watching, nice. Thanks, Gabriel, thanks everybody. We are going to be logging off. Um, four sets in the bag. Mike has got a pretty solid base. You wanna switch over to your camera real quick to show people how far you got? Sure. Yeah, yeah let me switch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Hold it really steady, Mike, because that is insanely shaky. Oh my god! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just hold it like, yeah. Oh, that's, okay. That there you go. Know. It's fine. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Yeah. The camera is so loud. Yeah, it's bad. I'm trying. Sorry, guys. Oh my gosh. So let me just show you one thing. Look at this wall there. Check this out. Yeah, it looks cool, right? It's intense. You know what else is intense? Ooh, ah, camping. Okay. All right, we're good. Very good. I mean, we're good. Okay, this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me just do some clicking and some other clicking to this click and to this click. Okay, what is that thing? Okay, so that's it for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow with all the Ninjago stuff completed. Some of these will be reviews out as videos for tomorrow, like fully fleshed out review videos. So that's going to be awesome. Um, thanks for hanging out. It's beautiful. It is, it is really cool looking set. Jack, will you see Indiana Jones 5? Not if I don't have to. Um, <laughs> all right, Matt, I'll talk with you in tomorrow's live stream. Mike Building, give me a shout out. I already did, mullet. Don't ask twice. Um, Okay, bye. All right, bye. Yeah, no, <laughs> bye. <laughs>